Yes, people. Big up to everyone. Happy Monday. Uh, happy brand new rest of the week. Big up to everyone who's locked in. I think my screen is just frozen. Great. Right on the intro. Um, let me try to figure this out. But yeah, big up to everyone who's locked in. Welcome back to another episode, episode 11 of the Mud Brothers Show. Um, while I while I figure this out, give me one second. I will be right back. I apologize because my screen is just absolutely frozen. One moment. Right. Apologies for that, people. But yeah, welcome back. So we'll do the intro again. Welcome back to everyone to episode 11 of the Mud Brothers Show. Lots to discuss this week. Lots obviously taking place this weekend. Lots of races have potentially come to an end. Um, lots still to talk about, but we got the gang gang in the building. Big up, first of all, to Scooby. Big up to you. Big How up, you doing? Up. Doing well. Big Wicking's up. going good. Wicking's going good. A lot of people bought on a certain uh, league, but we move. We move. <laughs> Fair enough. Cool, cool, cool. Then we go next to the person who's currently playing right now as well. Um, currently 1-0 up. Cole Palmer just scored to make it 1-0 against Everton. Man like CP. Big up to you, bro. How you doing today? Uh, it's a decent day. Cole Palmer could have shot, got another goal, to be honest. I just hit his top of his thigh. But it's been a great week for me as a Chelsea fan. Spurs lost. Uh, Man United draw. Arsenal bottling it. Liverpool bottling it. Just, if we win this, it's, it can't get any better than this week. Goal. Enough. Speaking of goal, speaking one second, Spurs, one second. Palmer scored again. Two <laughs> no, I just seen it. That's crazy. Two no, Cole Palmer. So far, man's on eighteen man. goals. Man's on eleven non-penalty goals. Man's on eleven non-penalty goals. Crazy. He's two right, away from the top you, of the league. You're gonna have your section. Where you, you'll get to talk your shit. But we move on. We go on to the North London clubs who are in the mud today. So we haven't actually decided who is the 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 mud brother, ultimate mud brother for this week. But I'm, it's safe to say, now that Chelsea are winning to no, it's not going to be Chelsea. Um, it's going to be someone between uh, the two North London clubs. But featuring the first one to the panel, we've got a man like M. De Niro. Oh, took an L this weekend against you know, Newcastle United 4-0. Mm. How you doing, man? How you doing besides, besides football? Hey, listen, I'm doing good, bro. Don't worry about I, me, I'm good. If I, get me my weekend. <laughs> get me. It got, it got resurrected. You know, like that. So, all right, man. I hear you. I hear you. Cool, cool, cool. And then we got man like Eli. He's going to be, I'm sure he's going to be the topic of discussion for this week by everyone. Um, but hey, man, man like Eli, big up to you, bro. Hope you're doing well. How are you doing today besides football? Obviously, we're going to get into it. Lots to talk about today. Let's go, Mavs. <laughs> Let's go, Mavs. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Hey, you're, 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 are you pulling on me? Are you pulling on me with F1 now? Is that what we're doing, Eli? We we're pulling on me like, two weeks ago when I was talking about F1. Now we're talking about NBA all of a sudden. Okay. 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 Hey, hey. Typical Arsenal fans, eh? Copping Chelsea as usual. Hey. Copping we're Chelsea success. Okay. No worries. We're going to get, we're going to let everybody, everyone's going to get a talk today. Shout out to Kevin DeBruyne. Let me talk, you know? But shout out to Kevin. Yeah. Shout out to Kevin. But everyone's going to get their chance to, you know, let off all the smoke, let off all the steam, you know, get, get to talk their shit, all that stuff. You already know how it goes. But before we do that, big up to everyone who's been locked in so far. AJ, I see you. He says, big up the gents of the panel every single time. Warrior J and H are in the chat as well. He says, Palmer 1-0, let's go. Palmer again, ole, ole, ole. 2-0 to Chelsea at the moment. But you guys know, uh, we can't start off Mud Brothers without a clip that has been made. <laughs> we have to start off with the clip. So, hey, man. DJ, spin that shit. I walked to Burger King, and then I walked back home from Burger King. Don't know where it goes, but I'm the only one, and I walk alone. <laughs> Somebody smell like shit! <laughs> wait, wait, wait! Somebody smell like shit! <laughs> you know, I was thinking, though, one time, uh, it would be really awesome if... Like, you could slingshot me in for a win. Yeah, but 
Okay, but if you won, how, how am I gonna win? Yeah. Think about it. No, I was thinking about it. I mean, it's not like you're finishing 18th. Nothing wrong with silver. Nothing wrong with silver at all. <laughs> I'm just kidding you, man. I don't wanna win. <laughs> <laughs> Enough shit, guys. Wake the fuck up. Okay. I love your shoes. I love them too. Do you often cook pasta and ketchup? Yeah, I do. That's disgusting. Why? Some e English player from my team, they eat things I never would eat it. Scrambled egg with ketchup. What is this? Yo, we had to make a clip real quick. <laughs> Warrior J said, dang, these edits are the fuck, hey man, it is, it is what it is. But, you know, a lot happened this weekend. Good evening. A good evening happened this weekend as well. We're going to start off there. No place to start off better than there. Um, Eli, we go to you, man. Arsenal, nil. Ashton Villa, two. Um, take, a, take a loss at the Emirates. Potentially hurts the title race. I'm just going to, I'm not going to say anything first. I'm just going to let you get your thoughts off because you're the Arsenal fan and on the panel. I'm going to let you get your thoughts off of this game, man. This is, this is a safe space. Say what you can. Floor is yours. Just want to say to all you men who question my ball knowledge, who question me about Zinchenko, who question me about having. Just let it be known that I said, if we played that 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 guy at left back Zinchenko, it would be long. It would be long. And what happened? Both of the goals came down that side. Coincidence? I don't think so. I don't think so. <sighs> Where, do, where else do I start? Where do I start? Where do I start? Arteta, I blame you. I blame you, man. I blame you. I don't know what made you think you could just roll up in there. So arrogant. So self-assured. So full of yourself. To think that you could just roll up in there with any team. To a team that you lost against earlier this year. What made you think that you could do that? You know that this formation doesn't work. You know that these players don't work in this formation because you overcompensate and people don't know where to go. They don't know how to compensate for that area that a certain number 35 leaves open. <clears throat> the fact that, you know, you put Havertz in midfield when for the majority of the first part of the season, you persisted in playing him in midfield and it didn't work out and it didn't work out yesterday. Have we seen some improvements from him? Yes. He, yes, he has. Yes, we have. But does he warrant a start in the midfield? I don't think so. The only way he gets into this team is if he's playing up top, in my opinion. And even then, I still wouldn't start him. I still wouldn't start him. The fact that you put 35 and 29 in this team at the same time in the midfield is criminal, absolutely criminal. And you deserve every bit of the side title. You deserve it. You deserve it for your arrogance. I can't believe you, bro. Well, 
you know what? Yes, I can because I caught this. I caught this. I said this. I said this. He ain't the coach. He ain't the one. You know what I'm saying? He ain't the one that's going to take us to the title. Congratulations to Man City. We have conceded the title to you for the second year running. Because y'all ain't dropping points to the end of the season. Y'all ain't dropping no more points. I don't see it happening. The fact that, you know, in halftime, at halftime, you see you see that it that it's not working. And you still persist with them. And you take out Ben White, even though he's on the yellow card instead of Zinchenko. That's been causing all of these issues. You take off one of our best defenders. That's been that that gave us a threat going forward. That actually defended. I'm glad you brought on Tomiyasu, but you took off the wrong player. You should have took off Zinchenko. You should have took off Havertz and put in Partey or Smith Rowe. To be honest, they should have started. Let's be real. Let's be real. They should have started. Tommy Asu at left back, Smith Rowe in the midfield, or Partey in midfield. Either one of those two would have worked just fine. It would have worked just fine. But no, you just had to be so hard-headed, so stubborn, so arrogant. And the fact that you took off Trossard instead of st- instead of taking off Saka when he was, he was shit the whole game. The whole game. Outside of a couple of chances, what did he do? Besides limp off the field. Like he always does when he when he when he when he throws in a stinker. When it when is when is enough gonna be enough, Arteta? When are you gonna see the light and start switching around? Like how how can I see these things, but you can't? I don't have coaching badges. You do. You have experience in these situations. I don't. I, I just don't understand, brother. I don't understand, brother. What 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 is it gonna so, take for you to for you to get it through your thick skull that you need to play smart, that you need to play your best players in their right positions. Stop playing people out of positions. And if it if it ain't yeah. working, just sit them down. I mean, look at Jack Grealish, one of the best players in the prem. You know what I'm saying? One of the one of the best players oh in the prem. Oh my goodness! Yo, Cole, bad boy. Bad boy. Oh, Bomber just scored a hat. Bad boy. That's crazy. Bad boy. Bad boy go. What a finish as well. Bad boy go. Yeah. Sorry to cut you off. But uh, I was going to get to a question. I think you you already kind of answered it. We're going to get the rest of the panel's thoughts on this too. But is the title race, is it over for you? Do you think Arsenal has lost the title? Bro, I, I said it. I said it. If we lose points at any point during this run-in, we lose. Like, there, there's no, there, no way. The only yeah. way we can, the only way possible I can see this happening is if we went out and Man City dropped points somewhere, which they, they, they're they not. They ha- And they have to lose a game. Mm-hmm. I don't see them losing any anywhere in the schedule. I don't see them losing. They have to lose yeah. and we have to win out. <laughs> and we had just, we, we, we just had one job. We just had one job. Yeah. That's all we had to do was just, was just win out. And we couldn't even do that. Against a depleted Aston Villa side, and as for yeah. Trossard, yeah, you say he didn't do anything, um, H, but it's a possibility that he could do things. He was actually making things tick. He was actually making things happen on the left side. And when Martinelli came in, he didn't really do wow. anything on the left hand side. You know what I'm saying? Took off the wrong. He took off the wrong player. Took off the wrong player. He should have took off uh, Saka. Put Martinelli down the middle, and then put Jesus on the right. You know what I'm saying? Because Saka was by far our worst attacker yesterday. You know, it, it just doesn't make any sense how I can see certain things that he doesn't. It's ridiculous. I'm just I'm just putting this down to his poor man management skills that he hasn't seemed to, you know, gotten rid of over the past four and a half years that he's managed the club. It, it's it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. I don't I don't understand. But yeah, that's me. I'm I'm not even angry at this point. I'm just disappointed because you let you let you letting your you letting your fans down again through your arrogance. That's why I didn't get my hopes up. You know, I took it game by game. You know, you don't take these teams for granted. You step on their necks and you break them. Yeah. You don't let up the pressure. I'm a, I'm a, uh, I'm gonna bring it back to uh to an American football analogy. In the playoffs, 
Atlanta had the Patriots down by 24 points at halftime. And Crazy what game. what happened? They let they let their foot off of their necks, and guess what happened? Tom Brady lifts the trophy yet again. That's exactly what One happened the yesterday. Greatest comebacks of all time. Yep. Crazy. It's ridiculous, man. I, I just don't understand why this manager persists in doing what he does. It doesn't make any sense. But yeah, so, that's that's me. Hey, that's my rant over. I have I have nothing else to say after that. It's it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Sack the manager. Run me and Zaggy. You know, run me um Michelle Sanchez. Run me um Diego Simeone. You know, run run me any one of those. Should I even take Tiago Mata at this point? Fair enough. Before we move on to the rest of the panel this, question. Mata's yeah. going to Juventus. He's already pre signed for Juventus. He's going to Juventus. You're going to Juventus, Paris. Great. Yeah. Question for you, though, Eli. Where do you stand on Saka? Bring him competition this summer or sell him this summer? And then we're going to move on to the rest of the pen. Bro, at this point, I don't care. I don't care. We we need to bring somebody in anyway. We should have brought somebody yeah. in this summer. You know what I'm saying? We should have went and got Kudus. Because if, if Saka ain't performing, you throw Kudus on that pitch, he's running rampant. That's all I'm going to yeah. say. I'm not, like I said, I'm Thanks not even much. angry. I was fuming yesterday, but today I'm calm. It is what it is. I've accepted it. I'm going for the playoffs now. Come on now. Go, let's go, Mavs. I hear you. Last last question from me. This Bayern game, obviously, on is it on Wednesday or is it on? Tuesday? I don't trust. I don't trust him. Yeah, it's Wednesday. Don't trust him. I don't trust him. He's going to play Sinchenko at left back once again. He's going to play Jorginho in the midfield once again. Party's not going to start. He's going to put Havertz up top. Just watch. Mark my words. Mark my words. He's going to make the most idiotic decisions and it's going to come back and bite us in the butt i see Bayern munich knocking us out two nil fair enough cool 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 we can move on to spoods your thoughts arsenal uh hey you know what, i do want to say something before you you go on mm-hmm. a lot of a lot of chatter i heard about leon bailey in the early episodes right I think Look he heard me talking shit. Scored, I think he heard me talking shit. Who was to score the goal yeah. himself, Leon Bailey, man? But go on. <clears throat> uh, Arsenal, Arsenal, Arsenal. You had one job: see a football from City. Because listen, this is the game. You just watched Liverpool drop points. You just watched it against Crystal Palace. All right, okay, this is the time. This is the time we can we can get we we can cement our place. We're not here. We're not just taking part. You know, we're here to win it. And then you go and drop the stinkiest performance. I, I, uh, first, Actually, first half, I thought they were all right. Arsenal, I thought they were playing well. They had chances. And then the second half, second half, they came out and I'd, oh, they were awful. Um, just to touch on what Eli said, um, Arteta putting uh, Havertz in the middle. Why? Why would you do that in this game? You, you, it's a thing that you've abandoned at the start of the season because it wasn't working out, and now you're going to go back to it against Aston Villa. I, 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 yeah, I don't get that. Yeah, formula. change the winning exactly. If it, exactly. If it's not broke, don't fix it. I, I don't understand. Yeah. Is he trying to be too cute? Are you trying to trying to be like Pep too much? I don't know. Um, and yeah, I, I honestly, I think Arsenal. That's that's it. that's it over. Because I, I think they start, I think their head dipped, and oh god, if they go out on Wednesday to Bayern Munich, oh, it's going to be an Arsenal fan civil war. They are Arteta out <laughs> against the Arteta ends, bro. They are going to be going crazy at each other. And look, we're all here for it, uh, here for it. And I, Everton score, Everton scored one. Oh, he's come on, never mind. No, he's outside. Anyway. Oh, um, Arsenal. I don't think that if they don't if they don't win it now. I don't think Arsenal win the Prem in the next five five years. I don't. I, I honestly don't. Five years. I don't think. Ar- <laughs> yep. So I I don't I don't think Arteta has it. I, the, I, because I what I think is I think Arsenal will keep Arteta even if he doesn't win anything this season. I think they keep him. I don't think they get rid of him because like who would like, I don't know who they would replace him uh, replace him with. And uh, they, they like, question. Hmm. Where'd yeah. you get the number five from? That's like getting the number sixteen for sixteen out of ten. Where'd you get the number five from? Um, like five years. Why not? Well, because, because, I, well, because, because it takes cycles. Win. Because when new managers take over, there's cycles that have to happen, and there's like a 
style that you have to implement. And I not think necessarily. I disagree with Chelsea fans. They just I, won the league after eighteen months. Of, um... We won with Conte. We won with Conte. Okay, but I, I mean, what? Well, you have to bring in new players, right? No, we literally won with Conte with two. No, I'm talking time. about Arsenal. Arsenal would need to bring in new players. You'd agree no, with not that? Necessarily. Not necessarily. Well, they're young enough. Do you think you we, think we, Arsenal can win the league with those players? With a few more signings, no. Yeah, like we just need yeah, a couple more. They need, they need we more players. Need to, we don't need. We don't. You we think, don't need to do like a complete rebuild. No, I don't think we need a don't. complete rebuild. We I don't. Need, I don't mean a complete. Need, I don't mean a complete rebuild. But what I'm talking about is, do you think Arsenal could win the league with the players that you have at the minute? Honestly, yes, I do. We just need yeah. one striker. Oh. Give us a striker. Give us a striker because a striker yeah, puts away most of those chances. More than a striker, you season. need another winger. You need another midfielder. You need like there's there's so many. No, no, no. I'm just I'm just saying. You you see all the chances that we missed this year. In a position where a striker normally would be, you put Tony in that position. He scores most of those, and we, we we're having a completely different discussion. Oh, I agree. You need a. I I agree. You need a striker, I'm and so I'm not even yeah. talking about quality. It's a mentality thing as well. But yeah, yeah. but that's what the managers for right, like Conte, we we were tenth place. That's no, why I want to get rid of Arteta. Mentality is part manager it's part and part players. You need players that have. What, it's a, it's a player thing too. Players Dude, have mentality get, as well. I get hey, that. Just said it best. Just said it best. The team on, is a reflection on. of the manager. Exactly. I get that. Like if you if no, you, I... if you if you have like a Pep, you have a Carlo Ancelotti. You have you have somebody that with grit. You have somebody like Inzaghi. Any one of those three managers, you're winning something guaranteed. Everywhere they've gone, they've won something. Everywhere. Um, yeah, no, I, I agree with that. I do agree that the manager is a reflection of the players, but there's you can have certain players that can eclipse their manager in terms of mentality, depending on the manager who they have. Uh, the Chelsea score again. No, I'll see if you're no, no, it's just why. No, I'm not. Um, why I, honestly, yeah, it doesn't. Five, two years, five years, six years. I, I don't care. I, I like you get five. Doesn't have to be five years. I don't see Arsenal winning it. Um, if they're not going to win it last year, fucking hell, and um, this year, I. I they're going to keep Arteta. He's going to bring a new sign in, and the exact same thing is going to happen again. I just don't think they have what it takes to get over the line with Arteta. That they don't. And 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 I know that you're saying they don't need a whole rebuild, but the players that they've got. Uh, who would you keep in that team? Saliba, Gabriel, Saliba, you, Gabriel, Ben White, Timber Thomas well, Partey, Declan Rice, Odegaard. Ben White isn't the Ben White. Ah, oh, start with Ben White. Ben White isn't that good. <laughs> he's extremely, bad. he's extremely average at best. He's not that good, man. He's not. I don't know for him. I don't know for him. I would still keep him. I would still keep him because I think he's a good player. I think he's a good squad that, player. That's what I'm like, saying. You, you need, you need rotation. Keep him. Why, why would I get rid of that? But in terms of like coming, why would I have? Why would I get class rid of that? Players in, in our in, team. Huh? How many world class players would you say you have in your team? We don't have any. So, but when you said that, oh, you just need a couple more players. You don't. Yeah, like, we just what? need a couple more players because we all like just think about it. Last year and this year, we bottled it. If we had one or two more, one or two more players, which we have constantly failed to get, constantly failed to get for but, reasons I don't know. Who, we, get, we get these players and we 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 push over the line. You know, what the, I'm saying? Like, the excuse the Arsenal fans made last year was, "Oh, Saliba got injured." No, right. no, no! I never made that excuse. But yeah, they. they oh well, not you, per- because... not you personally, but like Arsenal fans was, oh, Saliba get injured and the defense went to shit. No, no, no! It so... was, it wasn't just him. It was a combination of him getting injured. It was a combination of Aaron Ramsdale being a shit house and goal. It was a combination of us not finishing our chances. It was a combination of letting the letting the opposition get in our heads. So it wasn't just it wasn't just the fact that Saliba got injured. Can't we can't, we can't you, say would... that. But but the Arsenal fan base were saying that. Oh yeah, of course they're injured. gonna say that. They're gonna make up excuses. They they hate they hate they hate saying yeah, it like it is. I think I'm listening to the Arsenal fan. They're allergic too to much. it. <laughs> I'm they're I'm allergic to it. it. Yeah. You know they're never gonna call it like it is. They're always gonna make excuses. You know. They're always yeah, gonna seek intro, validation. Not the actual play. You know what I'm saying they're, they're gonna they're gonna. Yeah. You know, and then when when the when the going gets tough, they go and hide, just like what they yeah. did at the Emirates yesterday. They all left. Why? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah it's fucking up. They all left at the what I, after the walk in school. I seen people leaving. <laughs> That's crazy. Ridiculous, man. Yeah. Ridiculous. Yeah, I after... I want to call out those Arsenal fans myself. You guys are so shameless. When the team is winning left and right, you're always supporting the team. 
But the moment they have one sort of setback, you guys just want to leave the stadium. Crazy. And Arsenal, like, don't get it. Don't get me wrong. Like, they're the ops. But it's like, as a fan perspective, you have to support the team, man. It's as simple as that. You pay all this money. You go to watch all these games. You support them when they're winning. Support them when they lose. I think that's the best part about being a fan is you get to you, – it's, it's the highs and lows. For both you hey, can't just always let me, let me, support a team when you're winning and it's crazy man i i don't let me let me let me tell you what it is bro it, it's this new <laughs> ballot system they got going on you know this new ballot system it, it it basically caters to people that don't that that haven't been going to the to the stadium for forever you know what i'm saying because they, yeah. they they they've had they've had season ticket holders and stuff like that for years and years and years and years people that come mm -hmm. to every home game they go to most away games but they changed it recently to where to where uh they got this ballot system to where it's it's kind of randomized who gets in and who doesn't get in you know what i'm saying it is it's absolutely ridiculous so you got these plastic fans coming in and buying out stuff in the armory which is what it's catering to buying all the food buying all the arm uh, buying all the the merchandise and stuff like that that mm -hmm. that's what it, that's basically what it's catering to instead of the hardcore fans that that come to see their team perform and win you know and get loud and they got these plastic fans instead. That's gonna. That's just gonna get them revenue. It's absolutely yeah, ridiculous 100%. as a football club, man. Ridiculous. One, well, la one last thing that should be happening right now because that's what I think this Bayern game is so important to this Arsenal team because it is just in terms of momentum, mentality, all of that. If you if you're able to get a win like this, I think the heads are still there. They don't drop because we've we've seen Arsenal in the past where they get some sort of setback. They don't always um you know reply to it the best way like last year when they got the draws at arsenal i mean uh, sorry at liverpool at anfield when they got the draw at west ham when they got the draw against southampton just capitulated right after that the heads dropped so this is why i think this Bayern game is crucial because if they lose this Bayern game i think heads drop massively for this arsenal team it's pretty much over they've lost the, the whole season in in a week in in that sense right um do I think City can drop points? Will they drop points? I can't confidently say they will, but I think they can. I, they still have Spurs to play. Not a tough place to go. I'm not saying that they'll lose there, but they could at least get some sort of draw, something like that. But it is what it is. We move on to the next uh, next panelist. M. De Niro, we'll go to you, man. Your North London rival team. Um, your thoughts, bro, on Arsenal losing. Here we go. <laughs> 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 oh man, bro! Oh, you know what? It's, 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 we, even, it's even gonna be. It's even gonna be light. You know. Do you know I'm gonna make it light because obviously the other day, you know, I got a bit carried away with myself. The other day, I ended up in a certain location, and obviously, I saw a little Arsenal fan, a little boy, he was crying, and this is what your team is doing to these little children, bro. And it's so sad to see. And you know, like, um, 4 no Jackson, big up. Oh, no. Dude, you should see that goal, dude. He took it down so well. What yeah, that's a, that's a great goal. Great goal. Quick turn, uh, shot. All right, all right. And De Niro. Yeah, so sorry. Like never... Yeah, no, sorry. Um, so, yeah, man, like, it's causing little kids to cry. But let's get into this, though. So, in the game, I realized something about Sean Dyche or Teta, and I, I noticed some of his tactics and, and the way that he likes to play now. And, I, and, and you know what it is? I've seen what you try to do is you try to put 11 men behind the ball when you're defending, and then obviously you try to blitz teams in attack. So obviously you try to play the fast flowing football, but then you're bringing men back, bringing in all 11 players, by the way, not 10, not 9, all 11 players back. And what I just kind of understood from that was that you know, like, your tactics ain't really been that special when I start looking at these things, you know. Like, you were playing good football. Everything was nice. It was, it was all right. But, bro, like, at the end of the day, you brought Zinchenko back into the lineup, and I just want to thank Mikel Arteta for doing that. I just want to give you all your props, Arteta. And on top of that, you slapped Kai Havertz in midfield, and you slapped my favourite striker up front, Gabriel Jesus. Zero goals. This is what I like. So, at the end of the day... Like, you got to look at this game, Arsenal fans. Take a look at yourself. You put 11 men in the Real Madrid lineup, and I'll keep going on to that. You put 11 men in that lineup, you have to take a look at yourself. Um, Mikel Arteta substitutions wise, ridiculous. I don't know what he was thinking. I think Trossard has been your only source of scoring goals in, in, in late minute, in late parts of the game. 
and he took him off. As soon as you took him off, I knew it was game over. And then, yeah, man, in the first half, like you had that Trossard chance. But apart from that chance, I wouldn't say the other chance or anything. Other chances you had were very crazy. And um, yeah, man, and then obviously um, in the second half, he capitulated, he got popped off the pitch. Get me my dog, Leon Bailey came on, get me. Just did something light, man. Bro, he scored a light goal. Gabriel and Saliba, what are we telling me now? When I said when I said Gabriel has bozo gene, man didn't want to man didn't want to acknowledge me. I told man about this guy, bro. Like having a bozo gene, yes, the two goals didn't necessarily come from him, but the Ollie Watkins, the Ollie Watkins shot that came from him, bro. So look, at the end of the day, you gotta look at yourself. World class defenders. Like this is what you're doing right now, bro. Then on top of that, man, like. We just got to get into the hundred and the, what, what, what was it? Sorry, hey, Eli, sorry. This is all I'm asking you to do, by the way. Don't, don't like go on a little rant. I'm just asking you for a specific number, price. Um, sorry, what was the price of Declan Rice again, please? 106 million. Thank you, brother. I appreciate it. You can meet your man now. Thank you. Um, so yeah, 106 <laughs> million. And do you know what it is, bro? Like for 106 million, surely I would think it would be good for you to check your shoulders. Like, you know what I mean? Like, everybody wants to talk about Kaiseido and all these guys. But, bro, like, for 106 million, I would think, like, you can you can check your shoulders and, and see guys at the back post, but uh, clearly not, you know? And I just want to big up Declan Rice once again for being a good... You're a good player. Like, he's a good player. Like, I'm never going to deny that. He's not rubbish. But, you know, this overrating of Declan Rice, I told you, this guy don't... Look, he, he does... Sorry, do you can I interrupt again? Sorry, yeah, if you don't mind. Of course. Um, the, the, he also didn't check uh, check behind him for uh, Bayern Munich too. So I just want to say it's happened two games in a row. That's about so, it. On top of that, see, see, I just uh, thank you for the tagging. Tag me back in, bro. Yeah, my bro, I appreciate it. So, <laughs> so no, bro, like, do you know what it is, bro? Like, you got to check your shoulders as a 106 M's midfielder. So now, let me even get into this now. This is where I just need to get into something now, right now, yeah. It's a thing where... For all the Arsenal fans that were talking about, and this guy tried to ignore me when I said this, and I'm gonna, I'm not even gonna put his name in no more. I'm just gonna even just make you lot reminisce about what he said. He said we've got the artillery to go to the Etihad and Corn City. How about the artillery to go to the Emirates and slap Aston Villa? How about that? There weren't no artillery there, but Kyle Saka's all doing up limp, 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 bro. Man, want to hate on your star boy now, Eli, bro? What, what, what do you mean you don't care? What do you mean you don't care? You better care, bro, because that's your boy. That's the guy. That's that not my boy. Hey, that's not my boy. Hey, <laughs> that's not my boy. I never claimed him as my easy, boy. Easy, 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 because you see your fan base, bro. Yeah, everybody wants to say Bukayo Saka this and that, but this is the same bread that last season. I can't lie, bro. He was cooking. So why is it all of a sudden now oh, we don't want to start? But what about Gabriel Jesus? Arsenal fans chat to me. What about Gabriel Jesus? Where was he? Where was he missing? But now nah, Jesus, you know what? Yeah, he, he he brings something different to the team. Yeah, he makes the team fluid. Well, how where's the fluidity now, bro? You got dunked on by Johnny McGinn, Johnny McAllister. You get me, bro? Johnny McKinney Esther. That's my name for him. You know what I mean? So, bro, don't you know? Don't obviously overdo it, you know. There's still how many games left. Maybe, you know, you could, you might have a chance, you know. But all I'm going to say is this is even me being nice. I'm actually being so light. Like, nobody has actually seen the pure cooking of M. Denaro yet. But I just want to let you guys know that in real life, my brethren have seen just a half part of it. But I've got videos there for Sheik when, when, if, and this, the videos I've got for Sheik, yeah, for him to post of me, yeah, will come if you lot don't win against Bayern Munich on Wednesday, bro. If, <laughs> so, bro, if you lot don't win against Bayern Munich on Wednesday, if you lot do not <laughs> win against Bayern Munich on Wednesday, I promise you, bro, I promise you. See, Eli, you're even in a whole different country to me, to me yeah? You will feel my presence, bro. I promise you, you will feel my wrath, bro, if you lock me lock in Munich on Wednesday, bro. I just want, it will be an emergency. Oh, bro, listen, it will be more than an emergency, bro. It will be a massacre, bro. 
I promise you, bro, guys will hate me, bro. You guys will block me off of every single thing that you that you have. Any social media you have, you'll block me for that hot second, bro. Because until the beginning of next season, I will be cooking. I don't care where my team finishes. I will finish you lot, bro. I just want you lot to know that. So this is just me being like, this is just me being like, but please, Arsenal fans, like, just address the things I've said. Big up um, AJ as well. Pick up AJ. Yeah, I know you. you like to that, there up, was AJ. certain things you were you were saying in in the in the last live, and I've cl- I've taken screenshots. You know, I got my screenshots <laughs> there about you as well. Oh, listen, chat. Big up the chat because don't think you're not involved in this cooking, bro. You're all involved. So yeah, man. Big up H. You get me. You got the W. You get me, but you're still, we're still going to finish ahead of you. I have no doubt, but we'll get to me later. But obviously, Eli, my brother, shout outs to you. Um, and then I'm just going to mention this person's name now because he's a great content creator. I just want to shout out Tony Claude Gunner to you. I want you to continue <laughs> to push the content. Shout, that out, Tony, you every time. shout out Tony, bro. Continue to push that content, bro. Continue to be the best representative of Arsenal fans there is, bro. You are better than Eli as a representative of Arsenal fans. And I wish that you would continue to do what you're doing, bro. You know what I mean? Eli is actually the worst Arsenal representative, just to say, because he actually speaks facts. Yeah. Just, you know, so, yeah, man, like, big up all the real, the real goddess, yeah? Get me. We'll see you on Wednesday, <laughs> mate. Come on, hey, Curry P, tag him, mate. Let me just... Let's go, let's go, I got you, I got you. Hey, Curry P, t- tagged in. Here you go, bro. Oh, first, I want to start it off with, can you post a picture that I sent you, please? Yes. I have it ready Thank for you, my friend. Don't worry. I have it ready. I just want you to know, we always end people's title races. I just want you to know. We did that to Spurs. <laughs> we did that to Liverpool. And we did that to you. <laughs> Leon Billy. You know what I'm saying? Myself. We What's done. in your youth team? Go. Let's he? freaking go. Huh? What's he in your youth teams? No, no. He's a Chelsea fan, though. <laughs> Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, first off, we got to. St- here's the thing, guys. We keep on saying Spurs ball things, right? And we're like, okay, fair enough, fair enough. And then we look at stats, and we're like, hmm, who's bottled the league the most since Christmas? Oh my God! You know how we've bottled the Wembley six times. You know what's greater than six? Seven. Seven times Arsenal were first place during Chris in Christmas, and then have not won the league. Seven times, guys. Seven times. Crazy. It's amazing. That's where you guys are leading, actually, because you guys were the leaders with six last season, and now you're leading again with seven. So that's the only gap you are pushing up. So props to you guys. For the bar, so let's freaking go. You know what I'm talking about? Declan Rice. Hey, guys. Hey. Ha ha. Oh, my God. We got our number six, our number eight. Yeah? Yeah. Enzo Fernandez has more genie in our shit team with our shit, player, with our shit manager, right? With the, and your star boy, Bukayo Saka, doing nothing again. He likes to really run it, run into traffic, doesn't he? I don't know what he thinks this is. I don't know if he thinks this is somehow we're in the middle of a busy street in India where he's like, oh, there's traffic. Let me just run through it. Um, but this man loves to run into traffic, man. I thought I was seeing a Raheem Sterling left-footed region, and I think I am because that's what Raheem Sterling likes to do. So I want to give props to, the, to young Raheem Sterling. Let's, let's give a round of applause to the man who... Gets some GNA, but doesn't keep it consistent, just like Raheem Sterling was when at the same age. So I want to give props to the new Raheem Sterling. Um, your guy is a star boy, right, guys? Um, just to let you know, your other star boy, you know, the one who's in Bayern Munich, scored on your head top, celebrated with that cooking celebration, and he's going to score on your head top again. And your ex-manager, who you guys were making fun of for his bad English, Mr. Good Evening, you haven't... You guys have won, I think Arteta has won one game out of the seven that he's ever played against Mr. Good Evening from Villarreal and in Villa as well. So he just can't beat him. And this guy took a team from 17th. You guys were saying, oh, Arteta took our team from 8th to 2nd. This guy took a team from 17th of last season to 4th right now. And he's going to probably win the conference league. So he's going to get European a European trophy for your 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 fraud of a club so i just want to say this is amazing keep it up keep up the bottling you know what i'm saying like i said during the call-in show you, you know it slipped out of your hands because you guys were waiting for to fry the really big fish but that big fish was really slippery so it just slipped out of your hands so i hope you can fry the champions league 
you know, because you're out of that basically. You're out of all the cups. Walking out of that, you see tosses half of it after sleeping. Your relegation scrap. Oh wow, that's amazing. Um, and you know the funny thing is, if we get through Man City, we actually might win the same amount as you have, guys. In this great art, actually no, we won more because we won a Champions League. So hold that. You guys won a trophy five years ago almost, and we won one only two years ago. So you can hold that, you frauds. And we made it to no more finals with our shit club. Actually, if you guys get knocked out by Bayern Munich, you'll be knocked out the same place we were last season when we were 12th in the Champions League. And we were 12th place and still in the Champions League. So I want to give props to you guys for being second place and getting knocked out in the same round we did. And we were 12th last season with, with the Frank Lampard as our manager when we got knocked out to, to Real Madrid. Not Mikel Arteta, this amazing Frank Lampard. So you can hold that, right? Mister, we've changed everything. You've utter frauds. You guys are nothing in Europe, nothing. Your greatest ever player, Thierry Henry, left to go to Barcelona. That's the funny thing. Thierry Henry started this whole thing. Thierry Henry left and got success. Then Samuel Nasri and Gail Krishi left and got success. success. Then Robin Van Persie left, got success. Then we got Fabregas. He left you guys, came back to us eventually. Success. You know what I'm saying? Giroud. Don't beat on your head tubs in your Europa League final. You can hold that, you fraud. Your club is a joke. It's London is blue forever because you frauds can't win shit. You still can't win shit when we're this down bad. You still haven't won shit when we're this down bad. So you can hold that. Your club is a banter club. And in all seriousness, I think this team can do something if you have a different manager. So we were saying they need another winger. I don't know fully yet because this could be Martinelli off season and he could go back to better ways when you have an actual capable left back that helps with underlapping and overlapping runs um and you know Trossard can also play in the left wing so i think they could have the firepower there yes they need a backup for Saka, but they don't need to spend crazy amount of money maybe 40 50 million tops to be honest kudus cost that much hell less than that um they do need a striker apparently tony's only 30 million even if you pay 70 pay the money during champions league you got it I don't understand. And Kai Havers could be a good backup striker to just bring on for bodies. Oh, wow. You have a gold trophy. Good job. Okay. <laughs> for you, buddy. Good. How many? You know, the funny thing is, dude, you know, the season after we beat your Mr. Gold trophies, we only conceded 15 goals and we only lost one game and had less draws and had 94 points. When you guys went invincible, you had 85. We had more points than you and we were literally one loss away from doing your stupid golden trophy. Okay, Mr. Oh, we have the best defense. We've only conceded six since 2024. We conceded 15 in an entire season, and we went back to back against the Invincible squad, which you guys had, and Fergie squad. So you can hold that you fought. Do you have a Champions League? How about two, Mr. Gold Trophy? You know who's also done it? You know how you guys are saying unbeaten is so rare? You know who also done it unbeaten? Bayern Leverkusen right now. So, not the hardest thing. No team has conceded only 15 and won their league in the top flight. So you can hold that you fought. Anyways, yeah, so I think they're only a left back, a backup winger, and a key striker away, but it depends on if Arsenal want to get their finger out of their ass. CP and if they want to... Yeah, go ahead. Tag back in. Let's go. I just wanted to add this in just because where you just spoke about buying Leverkusen. Sorry. I just want you guys to just go check um, what is it, Granite Xhaka said before he left <laughs> Arsenal and what Granite Xhaka has done when he's gone to buy Leverkusen. Oh, I also, I got another player as well who is actually part of the Bayer Leverkusen team that came from Arsenal too, Nathan Teller. Big up Nathan Teller too. I just want to let you guys know that Nathan Teller's my dog. So get me big up Nathan. Get me. You knew the right thing to do was to leave them Willich boys, you know. And just, yeah, man, Curry P, just tag back in. I just thought... Yeah, thanks, man. No, thanks, man. Thanks. I appreciate that information, man. Um, But, yeah, and if you guys can get rid of this manager, if you guys are keeping it up season, good fucking luck. Good fucking luck, boys, because we know he's dog shit at the cups. So he's going to be out of the FA Cup and care about real quick. And then the Champions League, you have zero experience, your manager and your team. So good luck with that when you're going to face the big dogs. And we can clearly see, last thing I would say is there's a game plan. It's attack your wings. Literally, that's what Bayern did. That's what we did, even when we faced you guys. That's what Spurs did, and that's what Villa did. 
Your your fullbacks are center backs, which is fine, but they don't have the pace. So if you can put a ball in behind, a fucking go for it. And I think during AFTV, I'm sorry for being rude, but the guy with the glasses, he even said, he's like, we always have a problem with um, teams that have attacking fullbacks because they go in behind, they create extra space, and then we don't know how to handle that. And he pointed out these teams. So it's definitely a tactical thing that you can exploit. But it depends on if the team has pace enough and smart enough players to do so, right? Like even a Brendan Johnson, he might not be the best, but if you get the balls in behind us, Timo Werner, he's going to create so much space. And if you have a, if you have Son in the middle just to finish it off, there you go. you got the space to at least beat the man. And if you can cross it in decently or put it in the back post, there you go. So I don't think he's fixing that because he's going to be stubborn like Pep. Um, and yeah, I think he's a Pep copycat because he's like, oh, let me just copy four center backs like Pep did. So, you know, the student's never going to become the master so he can hold that too. That would be the last thing I could say. Fair enough. Uh, real quick before we do move on, Eli, there's a question from you, for you from H. He says, Eli, what goal are you blaming Zinni for? And why? And I think it's for the rest of the panel too. Mend of general in question. What goal was Zinni at fault for? I'm not gonna lie, I don't really remember the goals like that. But Eli, you I'm sure you watched the game. You can answer the question. Rest of the panel too. I just want to put your input. You, you both can. look at his positioning in both goals. I think it's both the first one right? where he plays him offside, like, onside like a by a shitload because he's like way at the back. He's like the bro. Last he's not even way at the back. He's in midfield. He's playing. He's playing where um where Havertz is supposed to be playing. Yeah. And then that other goal, um, the Leon Bailey goal. Guess where he is again? He's over there at right back. Why is he there? You're supposed to be our left back. You're supposed to be covering the far post. Why are you there? Why yeah. are you there? Fair enough. Fair enough. His positioning H. His positioning is always, <laughs> always wrong. You put you put Tierney in that team. You put Tamiyasu at left back. Even even Kivior at left back. Each one of those, they know exactly where to be at that moment. But where is where is Zinchenko always at? Where he's not supposed to be. Where he's not supposed to be, and that creates that space. Why do you think they attack it? Why do you think the team see that and they exploit that? They always exploit that space because he's never there when he's supposed to be. Fair enough. Rest of the panel, you so guys I'm got saying. any inputs on that? And De Niro, Spoof? <laughs> no, it is, bro. Like, obviously, it's one of those ones where... Obviously, Zinchenko, it wasn't like, I wouldn't say, for me personally, I wouldn't really blame Zinchenko for for, for yesterday. Yeah, as much as I, I find it so beautiful that he came back into the lineup, I don't blame him for yesterday. Uh, I think yesterday was just a basis of, like, you guys crumbled, you get me, you crumbled under the pressure. A lot of players in that game crumbled under the pressure because you could blame it on a lot of guys. I think, funny enough, yeah. the same guy that a lot of you guys get onto is actually one of the guys who had his be who had the best, probably the best game in your team. And it's actually Odegaard. You lot love getting onto Odegaard and saying Odegaard this, Odegaard that, but he was probably one of your Bro, best players yesterday. He actually didn't disappear yesterday. Yeah, he, he, was, he had a Mazza and he, he took was, him off. He yeah. took him off. He took him off. I think he was he injured. Felt I think he felt he some. Injured. He felt something. So I had to take him off. Nah, Bro. nah. You just wanted to peek on. You just wanted to pick on Odegaard because you knew he wasn't going <laughs> to talk back at you. Mm. You no, knew I'm it. Like, I, I just watched that first. Yes That's man. harsh to blame that on Sinchenko. That is harsh. Nah, for man. one, walking walking gets in front of Gabriel for one, and then Declan Rice doesn't mark the back uh, back post. But guess uh, what? This is what? Guess what? You have an actual left back at that position. That would never happen. Oh, they push too something. far. I push something. too far. He's like he's way up in the in the left eight. He's not over. He's not over sighted. <laughs> I forgot something, by the way. Um, I just wanted yeah, to say there. also, um, sixty million down the drain. Um, Kai Havertz scores again. Um, I just want to address all you bums that that sing that song on a regular basis. Right, Niro, there's a new one for Chelsea actually. It's sixty million in the bank. Kai Havertz is fucking wank. Um, yeah, bro. so that's that's the uh, that's the one we've been writing. So. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, bro. Please um quote that. Send that to me in quotations on Instagram. Yeah, for sure, for sure. For sure. I'll do that right now. Actually. Um, yeah, man, sixty million down the drain. Kai Havertz goes. I told you, look, 
Bro, see this, bro, I'm trying to hold my, compose myself, yeah. But, bro, I told you lot, like, you lot's run of games was so beautiful, bro. The time when you come to a team that actually has some type of attacking threat, look at what happened, bro. This is what I'm telling you lot, bro. Like, let if we were to actually go back and look at all the teams you lot have played, apart from Liverpool, who you beat, I can't lie, bro. They don't. They don't scream to me. Yeah, Arsenal should lose this game. This Villa game, bro, like, you're playing a team that actually has some type of attacking prowess. And we've we seen it. Obviously, Spooby wanted to hit on Leon Bailey, but look at him now, dog. You know, like that, bro. So, bro, big up Aston Villa once again. Big up Mr. Good Evening. You get me? And yeah, man, hold that. And on Wednesday, once again, I'll just reiterate. Yeah, thank you for that, brother. I appreciate it. And, and, and on Wednesday, I'm just going to reiterate, please. Make sure that you win because Eli is my brother and I don't want to, you get me, have to do what has to be done. Pause. Do you get me? To Eli, bro. So, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Just let it go, man. Fair enough. Let go. Fair enough. We're going to end off uh, the stream. Oh, we're not, not the stream, sorry. The segment with one more clip. We've already seen the clip, but this is just really funny. So, we just got to watch it again. I'm just pulling it up. One moment. Here we go. And I just want to say congratulations to Unai Emery. We didn't deserve you, bro. We didn't deserve you. They did you wrong. And we deserve every bit of that. <clears throat> and I was saying that before he left, by the way. <laughs> crazy crazy absolutely crazy but hey you also know good evening good evening with with the unai emery man but we move we move on to the next uh segment of the show we will say to a red team we're gonna go to united lots of stuff that's happened with united recently too off the field obviously um off the field a lot of stuff has been taking place but we'll talk a little bit about the game same old manchester united same old bullshit should have lost the game um had a penalty decision against us for the first time um i think it should have been given a penalty towards the end of the game not gonna lie also the one uh that was the one decision that was given to us crazy as well um i don't think that was a penalty the handball um absolutely crazy but performance wise again just back to the same shit it's terrible uh no solid play no actual like um fight to win the game um players you know performing the same way dropping stinker performances the key thing about United, though, was what happened and took place after the game. So, obviously, Garnacho has kind of find him, found himself to be in a situation where he's kind of like um, Sancho now because the manager has decided to come out in a press conference and talk about Garnacho. He also walked away from the press conference because it was too much for him to handle, apparently. Um, if a press conference is too much for you to handle, Ten Hag, I think this job is too much for you to handle. So, why don't you walk away from this job? as well you know make it easy for yourself but it is what it is we move um my whole thing about this whole garnacho situation is um he said i'm paraphrasing but he said something about on the lines of garnacho didn't train this week um so he hasn't been playing well or whatever i think that's what he said if he's not been training then why did you start him that's my is if you're going to come out and talk about how he's been doing and training and shit like that, if you know that he hasn't trained well, why would you start him? That just seems like you're throwing him under the bus for no reason. You started him and you're like, oh, well, I know he's not fit enough to start and he's not good enough to start, but I'm still going to start him so that when he does have the terrible game that he does, I can shit on him because I can make that a topic of discussion instead of the fact that we should have lost today and we barely got out there with a draw. So that's our manager at the moment. We next up, we go to uh, Wembley to play the FA Cup semifinal against Coventry City. You guys have heard me say this before. If we lose that game, sack him in the tunnel. Well, in the tunnel itself, sack him. 
And this is not an easy game by any means necessary. Like by this is this is not an easy game at all, fam. Like Coventry City will give us a tough game. I'm actually predicting two one to United in extra time. I will even say pens at this point because I don't think we beat them in the releg- in the regular time. It's crazy, but it is what it is. Um, we go to you, Spoobs. Uh, obviously, you weren't there for the match reaction, so we'll get your thoughts on the game. Um, let us know, bro, your thoughts. Um, yeah, I mean, me and you both, Sheik, we're, we've been tired. We're, we're not, we can't get angry anymore at our, how we play. We've been saying it all season. We play like shit. I'm tired of just getting angry for no reason because I, 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 like, there's nothing else I can expect until we get rid of the manager or, you know, something changes. Um, yeah. Ten Hag is throwing uh, players under the bus. Next one's Garnacho. Uh, the guy's just an awkward guy. He, like, if you've ever watched any backstage videos about him going and meeting United fans, it's just he can't hold a, he can't hold a conversation. He's just a socially weird guy. And, and he cannot man manage people. He can't, and I don't know why he comes out after after a bad result. He gets into those press conferences and starts throwing people under the bus. Why do you have to say yeah. that? Why? Just think. And like, are you that rattled? Is he in, under that much pressure? Like, I, I I don't understand it. Um, performance played like shit. Didn't deserve the win. Got lucky with the penalty. I don't. Extremely harsh. If it was given against us, yeah. I'd be fucking being like Jesus. But a bit harsh. Um, yeah, everyone played like right. shit. I, I couldn't pick out a good performance. Manu had a bad game, in my opinion. Uh, Rasha had a bad game. Garnacho had a bad Everyone had a bad game. Everyone had a bad game. Um, there's no one I can I, try to save. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to get like crazy and enraged because what's the point? The, our board's not going to do anything. We're going to go into this game against Coventry. Even if we lose, they'll probably still keep him until the end of the season. Um so yeah, I'm I'm just done. I think I, I know it's boring. I know I'm not getting like angry and shit. But what 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 else to have to like? This has been us the whole season. I, I've got this came to accept that we're shite. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, <clears throat> same thing for me too. In regards to the Garnacho Ten Hag thing, hey, United fans, whoever is backing Ten Hag or whatever, give keep the same energy that y'all kept towards Sancho, man. Keep the same energy because yeah. it's the same thing. You. When Sancho, you know, things were being said about Sancho, all of a sudden Sancho's, you know, not good in training. Sancho's had discipline issues at other clubs. Sancho's this, Sancho's that. Keep the same energy, man. Keep the same energy. That's all I'm going to say. But, yeah, man, it's 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 a shit show. And I can go just go on repeating this again and again. Um, there's no United game that I look forward to up until the rest of the end of the season. There's no United game I've looked forward to since this season started. There's no United game that I've walked out of and been extremely happy to win or to even draw. I'm not even extremely ever happy to draw a game, first of all. But there's never been a game where I've walked out, you know, been extremely happy about a performance, about the way some players played, about any of that shit. Like, it's it's a team in 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 a general is just terrible. Vibes in a general are are terrible. End the season. End the season, Dave. That's literally just the vibes that I'm on. But. We go to the rest of the panel. Curry P, thoughts on United's game? Bournemouth 2 2, of course. Um, Willie Kamwala, I got absolutely sent for the first goal, by the way. Absolutely. Oh, crazy. yeah, man. Oh, um, oh. He got absolutely sent for that first goal. Dominic Sank, you put him in a spliff 100%. But Curry P, we'll go to you. Any thoughts on that game, bro? It was Garnacho's yeah. fault. Oh, yeah. Fuck Garnacho. <laughs> it's not Garnacho's fault. Getting turned like Yes, it would. Yes. Yeah, no, if no, he, no, if he, it would. He, he gave away the ball. Yeah. If you had the pastry truck pocket, um, anyways, <laughs> how can you play him a defender misjudging the ball? They're kidding, and then... they're kidding, they're kidding, they're kidding. Yeah, it's called a joke. It's called a joke. No, Eli, no, 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 Eli. I they're think kidding. Eli actually thinks it's Grenache's fault. It is. Yeah, he did the ball. He gave away the ball, but it doesn't excuse anything that comes after it. No, oh, no, that's fair enough. But like, still, you know, like I would have the same. Oh my god, is he a part of the the problem? Yeah. Oh, he could have got a goal. He could have got a goal. No, he he just missed the port. Sorry. Um, I was, first I want to say once again, actual Chelsea connection. First of all, real oh. quick, hey yo, Pad MC ninety three, you a legend? But that yeah. is crazy what you just said. I feel there. for Big Willie too. Big up. <laughs> Why do you have to repeat what he just said? Dude, dude, he's been doing <laughs> Why do you have to repeat? What's that wrong, bro? What? Seriously. What's wrong with that? Okay, but anyway, that's his nickname. 
Go on, TV. Uh, first, first, I got to give props. Actual Chelsea connection. Dominic Solanke from our academy. You know, you know what I'm saying? Doing his thing. Scoring the goals. Dunking on your head top. Also, Michael Louisa from Crystal Palace. You know, dude, Chelsea just runs this shit, man. We ruin people's lives. I love it. Um, what? First of all, Jesus Christ, dude. I, I th- You guys really are as bad as us with the midfield. Holy fucking... Dude, you guys do part like the Red Sea. We're like that too. Like we leave, no. So ours is we leave Caicedo in an island. You guys just divide the midfield into two sections and never decide. It's like you guys are two magnets. You know what I'm saying? You want it's like the same ones and you guys just can't meet together. That's what I feel like your midfield is, dude. It's freaking wild. Bro. Um, it's, it's so wild, dude. <laughs> You guys were getting bopped out the midfield by Burl. I couldn't believe what I was seeing, bro. Um, I gotta give props. No agendas. And, dude, Bruno Fernandez. He's bailing out your team. You can't even say the pen. The actual goal again. Bailing out your team. Because your strike force is utter dog shit. Where, what the fuck is Erasmus Hoyland? What is he? You can't keep on saying he doesn't have service. Get, do something, bro. At least do link up, something. Drop in deep if you need to. Be involved in the yeah, game. Yeah. In some way, dude, you can't. You're not good enough, like Holland, literally, where you could be dog shit. And even he's starting to drop deep to get involved. For Erling Holland, your left side, Rashford. We know he's he's Mister Inconsistent. Thirty goals last season. Can't hit a barn door this season for some fucking reason. And your right side, I. I guess, like, I don't know what to say about that. I think only, like, your brightest spot is literally <laughs> Delo, to be honest. Yeah. I see good defense from him, great, like, playmaking and ball striking, but, and actually, pretty, pretty decent, um, good balls from, like, Onana. Like, I, like, he is actually. Had a decent game, I would say, it's saving wise and just ball playing, because it was reaching like Hoyland and the midfield pretty well. Like it wasn't just a stupid ball hoofed into the air, and you're hoping the striker just takes it. Um, that's the only positives I could find. Your back four was once again in shambles. You, like, and you can't fault it too much to the manager because your entire back line is decimated. You have to put this young kid in. And he's getting turned, but a lot of young kids are getting turned. It's the prem, it's a hard league. Um, it's just, what are you going to do in the future, right? Like, I heard that Marshall's leaving, for sure. That's fine. But he's never been there, so it's like, does it even matter? Um, your manager, it's like, everyone's saying he's going to leave. But then if this feels very much like a... Chelsea pot situation because apparently we're linked with other managers now, like fully, where we have a manager list, but we haven't fired him yet. And that's what Ten Hag. It's like, oh yeah, there's reports that he's leaving. Some reports are saying, oh, he's tight with management. Until he's gone, just like ours, we're both in the mud. It doesn't matter who we're linked with if it's, the move's not made. Yeah, bro. And they also are under the microscope right now, bro. At the end of the season, trust me, I'm watching every fucking thing they're doing. Every yeah. fucking thing. Because but I'm tired. Like, not... yeah. Like, yeah, even with us, like, dude, we got Cole Palmer and stuff, but like, that was Joe Shields. That's the guy slightly below these directors. That's where we're like, dude, fire the fucking director because they're the ones who hired Podge and put Joe Shields up <laughs> if you need to for us, right? Yeah. You guys really need to look at this management and Ineos and everyone because you guys are building this dream team. But if they're smart enough, and some of them have literally come from Man City and seen how the infrastructure was built, how can they not realize to fire him? You, clearly, your players are turning yeah. against them already. So who gives a fuck if it damages, quote-unquote, morale? Who gives a fuck? It's, it might even boost it. They'll be like, okay, let's get a good position so at least I can get my fucking bonus for making Europe or something. And then we'll have a manager next season. At least I have something to look yeah. forward to. That's what Bayern are doing with Tuco. That's literally what Juventus is doing with Allegri. They're firing Allegri and getting Thiago Mota. Yeah. I, that, see, I, I would, if we lose the country, I would do what Sheik says in Saga and get an interim. And why would, it's why subject our players to fervor fucking humiliation? Get an interim in. I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. You know why? Because why? 
I, I've been hearing things, not hearing things, but people are saying, I think in um, Saeed's stream and stuff, it's like, dude, let's bring in Wayne Rooney for intern. Don't do what we did, dude. Don't even care or whatever you're thinking. Do not bring your ex legend. Why are they even like, saying bring Wayne yes, Rooney for intern? Yes, they were saying, yes. Rooney's a terrible coach. They, yeah, they're terrible like, oh, let's, let's bring in Wise up for intern. So they're that's like, dude, don't do what we did. Man. Oh, are you thinking, CP? Are you thinking like if he starts doing well, then everyone's like, yeah, give him the joke. No, 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 not even that. Not even that. <laughs> no, if he does shit, don't do what we did with Lampard second time around. Like first time around, he caught us fourth, and then we're shit. But it's just for like five <laughs> games. You know what the craziest thing is? No, we've that's what, dude, we did that. that. We did that with nine. No, I'm saying we did that with nine games with Lampard. Don't damage it more than any, either your legend, dude. Don't do. Does that to be Rooney? Really. Yeah, yeah, Does not no. to be a legend? Bring in uh, a fucking. No, I get that, but what, what I was hearing from We've already done that. Was... We've already done it. We've done it with Ollie. That's what Ollie was. Yeah, yes, she Ollie she, was technically no, a she, club it's, legend. It's, it's different. Job. It's different. I'm sorry, How's it's different. It different. How did, did, did Ollie I'm have I'm sorry. Can I, can I give an example? Can I give an example? Can I give an example? Yeah. Lampard is probably our greatest ever fucking player. Wayne Rooney is probably top five to top ten. Ollie is not top ten in your entire club's history. You yeah, do not yeah, do but that. Ollie was so... Yeah, 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 Ollie was still a club legend, though. Ollie was part of the 98 team. Yes, but it depends. Yes, but it depends on how legendary they are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What I'm trying to say, I'm not team. comparing, like, I'm not comparing to what Solchar did for the club and what Rooney did for the club. But if the idea is to bring someone who's a fan favorite, who, you know, everyone, he's, we only, we only rate him because he's been a so called legend at the club in some way or possible, right? We've already yeah. done that with Ollie. Ollie was the coach of Cardiff City. He got them relegated, and we we brought him in for an interim job. Wayne Rooney has done fuck all with Derby County in the championship, and we us bringing him in would not do anything. That like it's the same thing in that sense because there's no actual reasoning, coaching wise, on why we should bring either of them or why we should have brought Ollie in or why we should have brought why we should bring Rooney in. But I get what you're trying to say. Like I've said this, I've said this again and again and again. I'm giving Ineos two years. I'm looking at Ineos with by binoculars this summer. I'm 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 looking at everything. I'm not just looking at who we're bringing in. I'm also looking at who we're letting go in terms of players. I'm looking at all of that. I'm looking at who we're hiring. I'm looking at what type of chicken they're serving in in there. I'm looking at if the roof is fixed or not. Well, part I'm, of the I'm roof. Yeah. All of this shit. I'm looking at all of this shit. And I said I I've said this before. I'm giving them two years. First year. You have a whole year to fix a mess, to let go of certain players that do not need to be here, to, you know, bring all that shit back. Second year, you start doing your work. You start picking up the right players who you think would fit our coach, whoever you guys appoint, all that type of stuff. Set up a style of play, all of that shit. Two years. I think two years is enough. I'll even push towards three. Fuck it. But I think two years is more than enough for us to see something from Ineos to say that they're on the right track. To bringing back this club to where it belongs but with that being said we move on to the rest of the panel eli your thoughts on bournemouth united 2-2 draw at vitality stadium hey spoobs what happened to your boy what happened to your <laughs> boy spoobs what happened to your boy nacho don't tell me he got, don't the tell bus. me he got hooked bro don't tell me he got hooked, bro. Not, not, not Nacho. Not Nacho. Don't tell me he got hooked, fam. The man who was at fault for the first goal. Don't tell me he got hooked, bro. Don't tell me that. Another stinker from him. Another stinker from Hoyland. Bro. On Rushford. On the bro, team. Yeah. Let, let me just say this about Hoyland, man. I know y'all were raving about him in his little purple patch. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> His little purple patch. Where is he now? Where is he now? <laughs> on his ass. As he spends most of these games on his ass. Fighting defenders. Backing up into him. Like a hooker in a brothel. You know what I'm saying? What? Why does he do this? <laughs> I don't understand. Why does he do this? He never wins these battles. Garnacho. Where are you passing, bro? Where's your touch? Where's the so-called dribbling and pace I keep hearing about? Where is that? I don't see it. Rashford, we know what Rashford is. We know what he is. No need to talk about him. That's redundant. Poor Kobe. 
Y'all don't deserve Kobe. Y'all don't deserve Kobe. That dude is too good for this team right now. And the fact that y'all are y'all are subjecting him to this haram ball, absolutely crazy. Absolutely crazy. I feel so sorry for that, brother. I feel so sorry for him. Outside of, I would say the only people in Man United I feel sorry for right now is Kobe and Ahmad. I feel so sorry for them. But then again, I don't feel sorry for Ahmad because he's not out there on the pitch having to suffer that haram ball. You know, look, lucky him. He don't have to experience that. But when he did came on, he did look he did look tidy. I'll give him that. He looked tidy. Um, really couldn't get into the game too much because they didn't want to give him the ball. I don't know why. You know, he was the only one that looked like he was going to make something happen. Bruno, yet again, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing, Bruno? <laughs> Bruno! Bruno! Mm-mm. He ain't the one. Y'all need to get rid of him ASAP if y'all want to do something tangible. Because yeah, <laughs> the man. amount of talk, the amount of times that this brother gave away the ball was insane. It's like every time he got the ball, it ended up with Bournemouth again. It's absolutely ridiculous. It, it doesn't make any sense. And the fact that um the fact that <laughs> y'all were even in the game is crazy to begin with. You know. Uh shout out to my dog Willie. <laughs> shout out to Willie. Willie. What's his real name, dude? Free Willie. Free you are crazy, man. Free y'all just be saying. <laughs> y'all just be saying. Free Willie. Crazy. Man said free Willie. <laughs> free Willie. Free Big Willie. Free Big Willie. Hey. Free Willie. <laughs> I didn't say that. I said <laughs> free Willie. Free that brother. Free that brother. He got. AJ he's getting AJ. done. Like when you, when you, when you, uh, big up AJ, big up AJ. Yeah, when you got some, when you got that donut McGuire next to you, what do you expect? Like he's a, I ain't gonna lie. This dude ain't had a lot of game time, you know, and he's playing next to this brother who don't know where he's supposed to be anyway. You know, he's supposed to be an experienced defender, and he's supposed to be helping out his younger compatriot. You know, what I'm saying his younger teammate. I didn't see him talk to him not once. I didn't see him talk to him not once. Look at Casemiro, constantly in Kobe's ear, trying to instruct him, trying to help him out. I didn't see any of that from Maguire. Absolutely shambolic. Delo, once again, one of your better performers. I feel sorry for him as well. feel sorry for him. It's not too much he can do in a team like that, you know, the team that's set up like that. Basically a 4 0 6. <laughs> Everybody's pushing up. At times it's a four one five. I I don't understand it. Only Ten Hag does, you know. I don't get it. Yeah. Pick um but Pick yeah, man, uh Bournemouth unlucky to come away with the win. You know, the the um the penalty that they got that that y'all scored shouldn't have been a penalty, in my opinion. Yeah. It ricocheted off a defender yeah. and hit his arm while his arm Harsh. was like this. Yeah. They were talking like I heard I heard I heard the commentators talking about, oh, well, he made a forward motion towards the ball. No, bro. He was trying to get out the way. And when it's coming yeah, at him at that speed, tucks, tucks his arm in and it hits off his arm. What is he supposed to do? Absolutely yeah. shambolic refereeing from, oh, from that. Yeah. And then the, the penalty that should have been a penalty on the other side, the penalty that wasn't a penalty, absolutely was a penalty in my opinion. His foot was on, uh, his foot was on the line and – he ended up on the deck inside of the uh, – because the foul continued into the box. So, by definition, that's a penalty. I don't know why VAR didn't go into that. Was, it, was his foot on the line, was it? Yeah, his foot was on the line. His foot was on the line. Like, his his back foot was on the line. Nice. And he – the penalty area. So, the contact started – even though the contact started outside of the penalty area, since his foot was on the line and it continued into the penalty area – by definition, it is a penalty. By definition, that's that's part of the rules. Should have been a penalty. So I, I the the <laughs> the ref had a miser there. It should it should have been uh three one to Bournemouth. Honestly, it should have been more than that. Clivert missing yeah. a guilt edge opportunity. Uh, Watara missing uh, pulling a shot wide. Uh, you know Bournemouth they played well. They bro, yeah, yeah. yeah, he did. They they played y'all off the park yet again for the second game in a row. They should have completed a double over y'all, but. You know, if you don't miss your chances, I mean, if you don't score your chances, you you get punished. That's how it is. 
But, you know, uh, Man United, once again, conceding late. You know, just another another day, another Ten Hag performance, you know, that we've come to expect from his team. Can't get it over the line. I don't know how – I don't know where y'all's goals are going to be coming from. You know, you never know. It's always janky. It's always crazy. It's always something that's individual brilliance, you know what I'm saying? Some Some kind of crazy screamer. Like you don't you don't see any style of play you don't see any type of build up you don't see anything it's just just stink from start to finish absolutely stink yeah. like it, it's it's crazy and I I feel sorry for every single Man United fan I truly do y'all don't deserve yeah, this uh this right? around ball like no no team I don't care if you're you're my worst enemy shout out Spurs you know what I'm saying I don't care y'all don't deserve that type of football you know what I'm saying like. I'm a football fan before I'm a fan of anything, and I hate seeing football like that. So I, I feel from the bottom of my heart, you know. But long may it continue, please, please. Fraud, fraud, fraud. What's up? Um, so, so I was looking at the the football terrace, and Terry's like, "Oh my God, Garnacho has the most goals for a teenager in the Prem with seven. You know the ironic thing is no teenager in the prime has gotten 32 freaking starts in a row. Yeah, what are gone. we on with this bullshit props, dude, of these nonsense context-filled bullshit, dude? <clears throat> I'm sorry, he's bang average. He's bang average. He's overhyped. And this whole controversy with him liking that shit. Who does he think he is? He has 32 fucking starts, and he's bitching and complaining. And he only has yeah. seven goal contributions. And everyone's loving him because of a freaking bicycle kick, but he's been bang average. I, I don't blame him for speaking out. Natural, I don't yeah, blame him. I, I do. Blame him I do. He has yeah, no I don't, right. I don't blame him he for speaking no out right. because he also was the, like it's the same situation with Sancho. So the manager decided to speak on him, so he's he's Sancho he's makes more sense back, because he doesn't. But, but Sancho makes more actually, sense. Actually, Sancho didn't make Sancho didn't make sense because Sancho wasn't even in the team at that time, and he got. He was talk talking about Sancho after we had lost to Arsenal, and he wasn't even in the squad. No, I'm saying Sancho, like the pushback from Sancho, makes more sense to me because he's not in the squad, and this guy keeps on not playing him. This man's played yeah, thirty yeah. Oh, I games get what you mean. Yeah, in yeah. a row, thirty-two games in a freaking row. But he yeah. doesn't pick the team. That's a, Eric yes, Ten Hag putting him in the team. But why? But why is he bitching and complaining to the? There's no other manager in this league who would have he's, given this kid. 32 starts. I get what you're saying. Like, like that's I, I, his I fault, CP. It. What? Garnacho isn't going to drop himself. It's up no, to I'm Eric Ten Hag to drop him. I'm saying, why does he have such an inflated ego for the man who's 19? Why, why spit at the mouth that's feeding you, in a sense? Dude, no other manager would have started to do 32 times as a bum ass 19 year old. Okay, but why would you then call you, him out? You. Yeah, yeah. I get you. You get what I'm saying? My, my why would you call him out, though? CP, what what is the reason for Eric Ten Hag calling nah, him the, out there? The, the thing, the thing is, boobs. The thing is, boobs. You got to have the same energy that you have for Sancho. You know, what I'm saying? I support it, Sancho. I've, no, I'm no, no. I'm not, I'm not. I'm not saying you in general. I'm talking oh, okay, about okay, you know. Okay. I'm talking about yeah, other people because yeah, 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 yeah. they said, "Oh, Sancho has a bad attitude." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Sancho this, Sancho that. But then look at Garnacho. He's doing the exact same thing. Silence, crickets. Yeah, you know, and, you know, I don't want to say this, no but sure you know, it may, it may seem like it's a, you know, a certain situation going on. You know what I'm saying? One hundred percent. My whole thing a is certain is situation. Ten Hog in <laughs> yeah, both it's it's literally Ten Hog in both situations. Why are you, if you're gonna say talk about Garnacho who hasn't supposedly been training well, and you are saying it yourself that he wasn't in training this week, why have you selected him? Just make that make sense. That makes zero yeah. sense. You start him, he plays bad, and then you criticize would, him for it. <laughs> it's like it's literally like saying, like, "Hey, CP, I need you to do a Mud Brothers tomorrow," and but I know that you haven't done any other Mud Brothers like this whole past time. But then after the Mud Brothers that you do tomorrow, I'm gonna be like, "CP, you did terrible on that Mud Brothers show," even though you haven't done one in the past. Like it makes zero sense, right? That's exactly what what's happened in this situation here. Why are you selecting him? Simple as that. But I will also say this. I'm also understand 
um, why Ten Hog is talking about Garnacho too, because Garnacho's been shit, yo. I've been saying this all fucking year. Like, he's been shit. The whole team's been shit. <laughs> like, he's been shit, bro. I don't understand He's that. been shit. I get it, though. Like, if Garnacho you... feels bad or if Garnacho feels angry about him getting subbed off or whatever, why the fuck you feeling angry that you got subbed off? You don't do shit anyways, bro. Like, I'm glad that you got nah, subbed off. I'm, I'm not having this, bro. That you got subbed I'm not off. having this. But, man. I just, I just, I just don't get it. I just don't get why we're in this situation, bro. Why, why is a bum calling out another bum? That's just my whole thing, right? Ten Hag, Ten Hag. How about you why show some balls and come and come and come and uh, go against Rashford? I dare him. I dare him to come out. Show some fucking balls. Come out into a fucking press conference and talk shit about Rashford. I guarantee you won't fucking do it. I guarantee you. He goes after fucking Sancho. He goes after Ganacho. Rashford. He doesn't say anything. Rashford could literally go on that pitch, take a huge fucking shit on the pitch, and he wouldn't say anything. And tell me, go after Rashford, show some balls. You know why, Spooby? You know why, Spooby? Mike. Because one man has money in the fucking bank by scoring. How long does he have that money in the bank? How long? What, what's the time been, period? Spooby, 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 he's been stinking it. He's been stinking it up all Spooby, fucking Spooby, season. Spooby. Hey, Garnacho Defense League, let me talk. Um, okay, Mr. Defense League. He has more money in the bank but because he scored 30 goals last season than a bum-ass Garnacho at seven for all the competitions. That's why he has his role, because he's been the top scorer for Man United. That's Their attack is not good enough. He's been, he's still, he scored 30 goals last season. Anthony's never going to do that. Foyland's never going to do that. So what, he's not going to drop him. He's not going to drop the only guy who can score 30 goals. You're hoping he hits a purple pass. Not scoring for Eagles. That's what I'm I know, saying. but you have, yes, yes, but it's he can. He has he's the ability to because he's shown it in the past. Fucking six games. Not to listen, fucking late. I'm gonna start scoring goals. Then. Right. 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 How many games yeah, are fucking left? Y'all want to hear something else that's crazy? What are we keeping them on for? Drop them for what? Y'all want to hear something else that's crazy? Check this out. Go on, go on, Eli. Go on. Sorry, Anthony walked out of training when he found out he wasn't starting. Nobody said a word. Thank you. Yeah, but that, but that's yeah. my point. Why not call it Anthony then? Why not call out Rashford? Why, like, I, I I don't understand the people that he calls out. I don't get it. Hey, listen, listen. Nobody understands what Ten Hag does because because Ten Hag is a donut. He's a donut. He's fucking, no, I can't he has he has no brain. He has no brain cells. He calls up people with no money in the bank. Besides Ronaldo, he's called up every single player that has no money in the bank, aka Sancho. He's like, dude, he hasn't done shit in this club. I can say what the fuck ever. I can say he doesn't train well and mistreat him. Garnacho too. He's not doing that to Rashford because Rashford has money in the bank in Manchester United as a general. It's not he's a weak. The money in the bank argument, man. He's been dropping shit performances. Yeah, that, that, that's why he wasn't in the squad. I agree. Though, I agree. I agree. He walked out of that's training. What I'm saying. But that's what I'm saying. This manager is weak spined. That's yeah, why he's going so. after players. Very That's why he's so. going after players that don't have any money in the bank. That's yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah, no, Rashford what drops another stinker next season. Though, so he's got money in the bank. He's got money in the bank. How long does that argument That's go on for? That's what he thinks because the fan base is still going to be like, "Oh, Rashford can still score thirty goals." Has Garnacho done that? Some of your fan base is going to say that. No one can say that, but that's what people can say at least with Garnacho, right? Our seasons, our seasons Listen, over. all all I'll say about this is that all three of these names you guys have mentioned, Ten Hag, Garnacho, Rashford, nearly not good enough. Should not yep. be in the conversation if they should be here next year anyways. Agreed. So there's no point. The whole idea with this whole thing that, that has taken place, it just shows the ultimate picture that is Ten Hag is crumbling when it comes to this pressure. He can't handle egos. If he's losing his own players. These are his own players, by the way, Garnacho. Anthony, both of his his own players. If he ends up falling out with Rashford, any of these players that he ends up falling out with, they're his players. This is his team. He's the one who selected all of this. The fact that his own players who he thinks were the ones moving forward who could see the bigger picture like him are the ones that are going up against him now just proves everything that we've been saying this whole time, that this manager is out of his depth. He is not equipped to, to handle this job. His own players are turning on him. End of story. We'll just leave it to that. But M. De Niro, we'll go to you real quick before we do move on to the next segment. Your thoughts on the game? Yeah, man. Um, obviously, United stinking out the place as usual, as boring as usual. But, um, yeah, man, I think, obviously, Bournemouth should have won the game. Um, 
what's it called? It was a good goal by Cliver as well. Dominic Solanke absolutely left Kwambala, whatever his name is, on the floor because I'm not going to say his first name because that is an absolute IO. So, I'm not gonna... <laughs> but, um, yeah, man, that literally, yeah, yeah, literally, man, like, um, he left him on the floor like United. It's just this is what I told you the weeks, the week before. I told you this. This is something that you just got to get used to. Like, this is something that your, your club you're going to be seeing for a minute. Um, obviously, you're talking about changes, but can you really trust any of us with the way that they're moving right now? Like, we'll see in it. But like I said, in it, it's like it's one of those ones where this any of us is going to be the make or break of your club, definitely for a fact. But yeah, man, like Bruno Fernandez once again, get me a stat padding and that doing your thing. Big up, Bruno. You get me a little stat padding and that. You absolutely stink, by the way. Um, Garnacho and all. Back to what Sheik said about Garnacho, which was just making me cry with laughter it, with the Ten Hag and Garnacho thing as well. Like, it actually doesn't make no sense to me. Like, how can you yeah, grill? It makes no sense, you, bro. It's so it shit. no like, sense. Like, you're, you're grilling a guy that you put in the lineup week in, week out when he stunk out the place, when he's played all right and stunk out the place mainly. And it's like, bro. All of a sudden now you're just throwing the guy under the bus. And and the thing that's so funny about it is, you know what, Curry P, you said that he's actually spineless. Do you know what's funny? He's got too much of a span. Let me tell you why he's got too much of a span, yeah? It's because the reason why he plays Rashford week in, week out is not because he has money in the bank. Remember when Rashford did what he did? Rashford actually apologised to him. So he was just happy with the fact that, oh, yeah, this guy's apologised to me. He's an egotistical maniac. Like, he was happy yeah. that Rashford apologised to him. Whereas, you see Garnacho, you've built up this boy so much, and now he's got such an ego that maybe in training, he tried to tell Garnacho something. Garnacho said, what? Like, like, bro, who are you chatting to? Do you get, like, got this now ego? You've given Garnacho that ego, mate. So if Garnacho's got rude to you, for you to throw him under the bus there shows that you're just a maniac, bro. Like, you just got a big ego that is not needed for, no, for, for any reason. Because let's be real here, yeah? If Sancho apologised, Sancho will be playing right now. But the fact that Sancho didn't apologise is the reason why you don't want him to play. It's the reason why you got rid of him. It's the same with Garnacho. The guy doesn't give a toss, bro. The guy don't care yeah. about United, bro. He just cares about himself. Yeah, good he man, just cares yeah. about everything yeah. about is, is about him. The guy came out in, was it last week's game or, or the week before, and came out and said, we played well. I said, bro, is this guy buzzing, bro? How can you say that you played well? Bro, there was no evidence, no nothing in there to say you played well. But this guy continues to not care because it's about himself. And I think he's even yep. one of those managers where he doesn't take in anything. He don't probably read social media, all these things. I'm telling you, bro. Like, he just gives me that type of vibe. He's like a robot. You get me that? But yeah, man, like, obviously, like I said in it, is that you got no style of play. Any brother that is Ten Hagen, and look, I'm even a Spurs fan saying this, any brother who's Ten, uh, ten Hagen, you have absolutely lost it. Because I'll be real with you, I don't know what you're seeing to say that you're Ten Hagen. That means you must know not, nothing about football. I'll be honest with you. I don't like to say that about people, but I'll be honest. If you're saying that, yeah, I want to, I want Ten Hagen, I want this, you, you don't know nothing about football. Because any, if he was at Spurs doing this, I would not want him in. If he was at any club, I even think if he was even at like a Burnley or Crystal Palace, bro, they'll be saying Ten Hag out for these type of situations. So what makes it think, I'm, and I'm going to be honest here, Man U is a big club. So what makes you think at big Manchester United, you can come here and think that you're the boss. The club comes before you, bro. Like this is just the reality yeah. of it. So you're now doing this thing where, now, the club is going down already. You're just bringing them down 10 times worse. And, bro, like, at the end of the day, I think he's actually ruining his market. Ten Hag is even ruining his market. I'm telling you this right now because, bro, when you look at the man management of this guy, I don't know what is going on, bro. But like I said, man, like, you should have lost that Bournemouth game. But this is just where it is. We can week out for you. Most games that you play, bro, you're always on the edge. You get me? Like, United are always on the knife edge. Like, every game, yeah, I, I'm bad yeah. you lot and whatever. But, bro, you're always on the knife edge. But, now, nah, man, like, I'll be real. Like, long may it continue, like Eli said. And I don't feel sorry for you at all. I, I really don't. I just thought I'd put that out there. I really don't feel sorry for you. And I know Eli doesn't either. So, you know, bro, like, it's one of those ones where, bro, you just got to hold that. You get me? You got to hold that. Go about your day. Go say some prayers to the Lord. You get me? 
And yeah, man, maybe he can help you. You know, like that. But right now, you just got to hold that, bro. Like, it's one of those ones where, this is what I said. I told guys that United's downfall was from the fact when you did that Red Devils advert, bro. That's where your downfall came, bro. And now you go... Yeah, hold. the wrong shit. Yeah, bro. You messed up. You messed up. You know what I mean? But it's, like I said, my God is stronger. You know, like that. And you get me? His great works are working right now. <laughs> So, yeah, yeah. Oh, United, long may it continue, man. Eric Ten Hag, and you know my thing. Eric Ten Hag, Prime Minister, all of that, man. Big up. Fair enough. I think it's only right that we do go to the next team, the next team of the segment. Currently winning hey, 5 0 right now. Real quick, real quick, oh, real quick. Man. Sancho wins again. True. Sancho does. Hindsight, everything is being proved right by him, but we move, man. Whole different conversation. CP! We go to you. Man like Cole Palmer scored four goals, has officially taken first place in the Golden Boot race. He's gone past Erling Holland. Three goals today and a penalty. Four, four, four goals, goals in total so far. Yeah, yeah, three goals today and a penalty. So four goals in total. Um, crazy. Another thing I do also want to mention, Chelsea up 5-0. Guess who's not playing today? Come on, you know, I was I had literally thinking about that before the game. Smooth, I was like, smooth, if smooth, Chelsea smooth, win smooth, today, smooth, we know no, the problem. I will let TP <laughs> answer this. I will, I, will answer. I will let TP answer this. TP, who's, who in this Chelsea team is not playing today? Sterling. No, no, no. No, 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 no. There's another one. He's in your midfield. The one you rate, CP. The he, one he, you rate. He rhymes, with, he rhymes with Bozo. He rhymes with Bozo. Lavia. No, he doesn't no. run with Bozo. Again, CP, the one no, you no, come rate, on, CP. CP. You know, you know, come on, man. You know this. Who's not playing today? The one you defend. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. How was Mano on the weekend? You want me to cry? Are you crushing me? Hey, what, what does it say right below <laughs> your name? What does it say right below your name? Chelsea versus Everton. We're talking about today's game, my friend. Yeah, We're talking about I can, yeah that's my section. I can talk about We are talking about, about Chelsea. Chelsea. Yeah. Chelsea. 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 Yo, Palmer Chelsea. Four goals. That's crazy. That's Chelsea, crazy. Chelsea. All I'm saying is, hey, no, Chelsea winning 5 0. Palmer scoring full four goals today. Enzo is not anywhere in sight. Enzo's mm-hmm. nowhere to be seen. And is this arguably Chelsea's best win this season? No. Five goals to nil. Not the best win. We we literally beat Bournemouth, uh, not Bournemouth, uh, Middlesbrough 6 by 6. That's middle, bro. Not... That wasn't even in the league. All right, is this Chelsea's biggest win in the league? I think so. If we keep, don't concede a goal, yes, because we have won four 0 before. So if we don't concede, then okay. Yes. If the game finishes five 0 is it your big? Yes, yeah? this, this will be yes, yeah, yeah. So it's safe to say you've had your biggest win in the Premier League without Enzo Fernandez this season, huh? Yeah. Uh huh. Cool. That's all I wanted to. That's all I wanted to hear. That's yeah, all I wanted cool, to hear. That's cool, all cool. I wanted to hear. Cool. Just, we I move just, on. That's about the no, no, I, part. Yeah, for sure. Um, the first would be, um, Mano was shit against Liverpool. He was shit midweek, and he was shit last. Was week, he so shit against Liverpool? He scored a goal. Actually, yeah, he was still bang goal. average. He actually was bang average. Um. Mm. So, anyways, okay. um, I would say this game. There's one negative. Um, so I don't know if you guys were watching the game, probably not. I was. Um, so the fifth was a penalty, right? Which could have been due to Palmer, which we, or he got clipped in the back of uh, his heel. But then I think it was pro- predominantly due to Madueke. Um, and Madueke wanted to take the penalty kick, and he took the ball. And then Jackson was backing Madueke up. And then Gallagher came in as captain and was like, no, Palmer's taking it because let's extend our goal difference and he's our penalty taker, basically. Even though Poch has said it's decided in the field of play, which is the stupidest thing in the fucking world to say. Um, So they had an argument and then Maroke kind of let go, but Jackson was still very pissed and didn't really congratulate Palmer. So I hope that doesn't play in anything. I hope he, they squash that real quick. Um, other than that, fuck me, dude. Palmer is 
Jesus Christ, he's so good. And Jackson had that first goal he scored. I told you Palmer was him. Palmer is him. He magged the player and then absolutely just yeah. Did a back heel and then it was good enough for Jack. That's what I'm saying. Jackson good enough for Jackson once again to hold up the hold up the guy behind him, give a nice layup layoff, and then Palmer finesses it in, right? And then once again, Palmer for the second goal and the third goal again. He's he's really good at pressing. We this is yeah. why we're, we as a fan base are pissed off because Carney and Palmer can both press at the ten. So why the fuck do we need Gallagher there for yeah. pressing reasons? He's really he's been doing this all season. I so yeah, yeah, yeah. so he scored a great goal with his weak foot. Um, and then shout out Cole Palmer, man. Shout out yeah, Palmer. man. And. I, Hey, I got to shout out Jackson once again, dude. He great ball by Mudrick. Um, it wasn't one sec, six. Um, six. Gilchrist scored. Gilchrist scored. Oh shit! Um, six no. Proper Schultz. So yeah, it is now been, officially Chelsea's, Chelsea's best biggest win. win of the season um, without Enzo for Fernandez. Fernandez yeah. Thank Anyways, you my, um, my rest, my case has been rested. I, sure, I sure. Every, sure. Yeah, hey, right. hey, yeah. normality yeah. is restored. Um, so that's, that's all I'm gonna say. That's all. Okay, cool, say. cool. Um, just remember to do something. <laughs> Don't move to lose to Coventry with Mano in the midfield. I dare, I dare. Hey, don't worry about don't me. Even, don't go to no, 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 no. Don't go to extra time with Mano in the midfield with Coventry. I don't even care if you win an extra time. Do not go to extra time. Hey, don't. Do don't, extra time. In, don't. Hey, don't play. Don't play Enzo in your next game because it looks like you guys win six 0 without him. I, so, that's no, all I'm gonna say. yes, we will because that's all I'm gonna say. Both our draws against Man City have happened with Enzo in that midfield. Same with same with Arsenal and our four one exactly. against Tottenham. Tottenham draws. Are Tottenham. Keyword draws. Your excuse best me. win Ta- is Tottenham. Without Enzo. Yes, okay. Best yeah, our best win. Season. No, excuse me. Our best win before this was with Enzo Enzo with six one. We also had our best be- second best win with four one against Tottenham with Enzo in the midfield. So three so two out of our three biggest that wins have been with Enzo. That is no, that I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to put you in the mud, dude. I'm just. I'm just. He saying, is. He's trying to put you in the mud. Nine men, bro. Nine men, bro. Yes, Take dude. I'm not bragging about it. Take that game out of there, bro. No, no game. I'm not. It happened. It happened. <laughs> you guys made a mistake. <laughs> put me in that game. Hey, 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 hey. Nine men, and I. Excuse me. Excuse me. You're gonna be doing a shot today, so pipe down for this week. Pipe down for this week. You're the one who got battered four 0 this week. I'm winning six zero. Okay. Aston Villa is ahead of you in, in your Europe now, so you better be getting champs. Um, and, and and hey, we're not supposed to be firing shots. I wasn't trying to fire shots. I'm trying to defend Enzo, dude. That's why I didn't say any. any I'm not going to say much in this first section, bro. So don't agitate me. You better. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Um, but Yo, I, what's this little throwing thing? I'm not trying, like, listen, I'm not trying to say night. shots either. All I was claiming was facts. I said Chelsea. Okay, and I'm telling you facts. And I'm you're De Niro. He's taking it's shots at your club. Actually, all I was saying is facts. All I was saying okay, is facts. Okay, can we talk about the game or are we going to continue? Statistically, <laughs> I'm just saying Chelsea statistically have won their best game of the season so far in the Premier League, keywords. Without okay. Enzo Fernandez, that's all I'm okay. saying. Okay, so it's a Chelsea section, and I, I need to talk, right? So I'll say again, yeah, two yeah, out of our yeah, three big, the yeah, two, yeah. the two out of our three biggest wins in this in this season have also been with Enzo Fernandez. Anyways, back to this game. <laughs> Fucking Christ. Um, back I would game, say. Yeah. Yeah, hold on, hold on, real quick. Just to back you, CP. There was also one other midfielder that was also in that team. All those teams. That's a common denominator as well. Connor Gallagher. That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, sure. Um, yeah, hey, no, Eli. That's what. That's what I'm gonna get to as well. Play Connor Gallagher more and rest Enzo more. That's what. That's what. That's what I should say. Play Connor no. Gallagher. You win six 0 Rest Enzo. You win six 0 man. Let's go, man. Let's go, Chelsea. Let's go. Cool. Um. Go, anyways, go. um, what I gotta <laughs> say is, here's the thing. People will say potch and everything. And maybe here's the here's the thing. Offensively this season, I cannot fault Poch much, right? I don't I don't think there's a consistent attacking pattern, but we have done way better attacking wise. Yes, it is, I would say sixty percent because we have better players like Cole Palmer and Nicholas Jackson in the team and Carney Chukomeka who comes off the bench. But he has our attack has gotten better, and I can't fault that. But it's the defense that's killing me, right? And you guys will say, well, you didn't concede this game. 
if you watch this entirety of the game, every set piece or every ball into the box has been very close to going in. And Babeto almost scored a goal where it, it went off the line, as Booby was saying, and, and he almost scored another goal. Nice. He, he yeah. also actually scored another goal, which was ruled offside. And a lot of the set, they had like, I think, six corners and some other set pieces that were going into the box, and they were all very close. And the man was always free. And that's been Potter's biggest issue. That's what we've been, I've been joking that, hey, we're going to draw this game 2-2 because we're going to concede a last minute like header, like we did against Sheffield and Burnley. And that's that's the thing that's concerning me still, even with the six note, right? That's something he needs to figure out. Um, other yeah. than that, this game has been faultless, I would say. In the beginning, it did look a little ropey because Gusto was slipping. Like a lot of players are slipping a little bit. And I would say this is not Gusto was one of his best games. Like he has still a great game, but he was slipping quite a lot. But he didn't do any harsh tackles. I would say great job by Caicedo and Jackson in a sense of they're one yellow away from getting suspended and they haven't gotten that knock on wood for another two minutes and we should be good for at least the Arsenal game. Um, so yeah, I can't say anything else than a great attacking faultless performance right now. And Cole Palmer is literally him. He, he has now 20 goals and nine assists. He's one assist away from tying for all time the top for Lisa starts and he's tied with Holland. And if you take away his penalties, he has 12 goals, like without pens this season, which is still great. Right. There so you know. with, with pens, he has 20 goals. Like he has, he's going to get over 30 GNA in the league. Yeah. And in all comps, he's going to get 40, which is ridiculous for a first season. And if we can bring back players like Nkunku and he can be healthy, holy fuck, our attack is actually going to turn up a little bit. So let's see. It's uh, There are bright spots in the shit season, but um, that's all I can say, bright spots. But yeah, yeah Cole Palmer's been about. sensational, man, 100%. I can't say anything about anything bad about Cole Palmer like how I can say about other Chelsea players, but Cole Palmer's <laughs> been absolutely exceptional. Like him to move over to a whole new environment, play against, you know, play under Poch, of course, his manager, play against a much, much different team as well, like play with a much, much different team as well, something that he's not normally accustomed to. He's done really, really well. Shout out to, to Cole Palmer. But, M. De Niro, we go to you. Your thoughts on the Chelsea game so far, obviously. It, I, I'm pretty sure it will finish 6-0. I'm not sure if it has already, but... We'll pick it up Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, man was just literally just watching that now. But yeah, man, like Chelsea, they did the job that they needed to do. Maybe if Bertel scores that goal, the game might have been different, but he didn't. So you get me. Chelsea just did their job in it, handled the team how they were meant to handle them. Cole Palmer, brilliant first goal. But yeah, it's like, done. It's, it, the thing with Cole, Cole Palmer is that it's like it's it's it's, it's even normal, man. Now like, it's even getting to a point where it's becoming normal, isn't it? Like for my for for Cole Palmer right now and um. Yeah, man, you just got quality. You can see the quality. But I knew about this quality from even when he was at City. I remember that one of the games when he came in in one of the FA Cup games and then he's turned one player inside out. He's bent it top bins. I was like, yeah, nah, this guy, from there, I already knew, like, you get me? So even when Chelsea bought him, I was like, yeah, you got, you got a gem there still. I didn't think he was going to be how he's doing right now, but I knew he was always going to be good. Like, he's hitting higher levels than what I even thought he was going to hit. So now nah, Chelsea definitely... um grab the gem from there and I just think yeah man like I was happy to see um Madweke get 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 good game time today because you're seeing that when he gets given some game time he can do something bro he played well today once again Mudrick he was all right he was calm in it like he didn't play bad but he was great he was calm man but it's but I feel like that's what I feel like your team have been lacking for for a while. The fact of give these guys a chance. They're here for a reason. You put them on contracts for a reason. Let them play as young players. Young players always need confidence. They need to be pushed. Like I said, the same ways that that Ten Hag pushed Garnacho and put him in that team and that team and that team regularly. You get me? Even though he's been stinky at times, you still see some type of thing come out of it. So I feel like with players that are way better than Garnacho, like a mad way to like a like a Madrid, who I personally think have more qualities to their game, definitely, than him. Give them a chance. Let them play, bro. Let them enjoy football. Just give them a run. You're not in a, any position where you're going to win anything. So just let them play, but what's there to lose? Just try them. Play them like you did today. And also, I just think, like, 
on top of that, like like CP was saying, obviously the defense is a is a bit shaky, but I think when you look at this season and then the good points of it, get a good manager, maybe get a good manager, maybe a, a couple more defensive tweaks. Oh, like I don't see why Chelsea next season can't do something good. I don't know about title race, but top four. Do you get me? Why not? In it? Maybe top Yeah, that's four. all I'm asking for, top four. Yeah, man. Yeah. This is me even just being honest about it, because I said this season, I actually said that Chelsea would be in around there, but obviously they didn't. But I feel like, bro, like I feel like it's that might, for me personally, it's based on the manager, because even the manager with, you can see the manager in the players, bro, because even when they were doing the penalty thing, like this is not something that should be happening weekly, bro. The manager should be regulating that from way before. Like, they should not be every week. Guys are arguing over penalties. Have your one penalty taker. Really and truly, we know who the penalty taker should be. It should be called yeah. whatever. Just let him take the penalties, bro. We shouldn't be arguing over penalties weaker, but it shows the manager and the players. It shows he doesn't have that. Have He's a pushover, in it. Like, what we were talking about a couple of weeks ago, he's a pushover. He doesn't have that for you. And that's why I say that sometimes you can see managers and the way players behave and the way they are on the pitch. Today, I think the players just all stood together and said, you know what, let's take this game to these men and let's see what we can do in it. Because when you look at even Nicholas Jackson, I was impressed. I've been impressed with him for a couple of weeks now anyways, but like, you get me, he's always running. He's always linking up, playing like, bro, like, there's positives that Chelsea fans can look at, to be honest, isn't it? If we're being honest, even though they're sitting in a low position, there's a lot of positives you can take from the wins you have actually won this season. Um I think, yeah, obviously, you know, she tried to run the, the Enzo Fernandez agenda and that. But now, nah, man, like, I think even him, like, next season, he will still be a good part to play in this thing. Like, bro, I'm telling you, bro. Like, the, like I personally think, un, unpopular opinion, Chelsea next season, if they can just get the right manager, maybe, like, uh, uh, just get the right manager in it. Just, you get me, Todd Bowley, just do the right thing. And don't just be buying players for the sake of buying them now. And make sure the players you're buying are, are players that will actually come and add to this team. Because I don't think the team is as bad as people make out to be. I've seen a lot of Chelsea fans saying a lot of stuff like, oh, we're in the mud, we could do this. Yes, I troll you and I agree with you and all of that. But you're not in the mud as much as you think you are. I'm telling you, bro. Like, I feel like you lot just get a good manager, Maybe, uh, uh, maybe two to two, uh, pop up, like bring some figures into the team that 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 have maybe won something. Do you get me? But proper figures who have won something, not like a Sterling, like a proper figure who's been in the change room who can actually bring a mentality to the change room. And then, bro, you'll start seeing that, yeah, things happen. I think like your season, just even in, in general, if we're going to talk about it, like your season has had ups and downs based on a lot of things. You at the beginning of the season, Chukwemeka was that one of your main, that one of the guys that was actually performing and he got injured straight away and then it was like, bro. So there's a lot of stuff that's happened throughout the season that's made the Chelsea team un uneasy. Bare injuries, a lot of injuries in and out. Lavia's not even played barely. Like, bro, so I think Chelsea fans, like as much as we're going to clown you and stuff, you still have stuff to look forward to, in my opinion. And I just think you have stuff to look forward to because you're not like a... Tottenham, well, obviously Tottenham should in here. Forget Tottenham, anyways. You're not like a Manchester United or or or, or uh, Arsenal, where you've actually won a major trophy not too long ago. Do you understand? So there is time to just say, you know what? Let's see if we can just recoup and start again. Let's try to build this up again. So that's why I feel like Chelsea fans just need to relax. If it's now next season you're seeing the same thing, then we can start talking about yeah. what is going on here. We need to you get it. But I just think two seasons, like, bro, just easy, bro. Everybody has their time, innit? Do you know what I'm saying? Everybody has their time. So, yeah, man, but I think it's on the upwards with the players. I actually think a lot of people just downplay the players because of the price tag. Certain guys came in for Madrid, came in with a price tag. Do you get me? But if you actually look at the other players, Madweke didn't come in for a high price tag. He was like 30 million. Jackson was 35 million. This is it. So, like, Call him 45. Do you get it though? But that's the point. Like, Gusto, was, Gusto was 20 million. We paid 20 million for Gusto. Do you get it? So what is there to complain about? This is what I'm saying. Like if I was a Chelsea fan, I wouldn't be happy because yeah, we're sitting here, but I would be looking at taking all right, this positive. This is who we got. We know what your main downfall here, isn't it? And you went and took mm -hmm. a Spursy man, which was a mistake from the get-go. So at the end of the day, like, yeah, people said Pochettino is good with young players, but bro, like, I'll be real with you, like, he has no money in the bank. He hasn't done anything. Can I? So I kind of knew when he comes here, 
it's not really going to be anything crazy. I didn't even want him to come back to Tottenham in the first place. Anyways, I feel like every manager has their time. Once you fail, you move on. Innit? But that's what I'm saying, man. Like Chelsea fans, just calm down. You get me? You get me? Alfie Gilchrist scored today. You get me? Be happy, bro. Yeah. Be happy. The proper Chelsea scored. So, bro, like, nah, man. Like, yeah, man. I think you lot played well today. Good win. That's a very good win. 6 0 against Everton because Everton are not a bad team. Like, they're bad, but they're not a bad team to be losing 6 0. So, you beating them 6 0 says a lot as well. So, bro, yeah, man. There's positives, bro. There's actually positives for me. I, maybe you can't, a lot of Chelsea fans can't see it now, but me as a, just as a mutual, even being a rival as well, I can actually see it in it. I can see it in it. So, yeah, man. Fair enough. Big up to uh, Connor. I just wanted to say big up to Connor, bro. CMO big Sports. Everyone big subscribe up, to CMO up. Sports real quick. Uh, we'll move on to Spooves. We'll go to you, man. Your thoughts about Chelsea versus Everton. Go can I ask me. CP a question? Of course. Of course you can, man. Go ahead. Let's, Did your midfield play well this game? Can I be honest? Yeah. Be honest, of course. Uh, yes, but I mm. I can't say for sure what what because here's the thing. You can't you say okay, it's mm. no no no, here's the thing. You can't say it's because Enzo's not there, but also Palmer played in the tent. Do you get what I'm saying? Like I can't be sure sure if you guys have this th- Enzo agenda, sure, that's fine. But is it because Enzo didn't play, or also because Palmer's in the 10 and now you have Medawake, so there's just more threats in the attack, right? Did Kaiseido have a good game? He was okay. Um, it was decent enough because he didn't have a yellow, so yeah, I would decent. say in that sense, yeah. Um, like so it was if, if you put a good midfielder next to Kaiseido, your midfield does well. <laughs> what? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. So no, what no, did no, no, Super Score fine, Super Score give fine. Super Score give Gallagher an eight point one? No, that's, that's pretty okay, okay. So, so I have a question for you guys, if you don't mind. Yeah. Man, since we're doing yeah. question period, um, since you're saying if you have a good midfielder beside Kai said, right? So you you said the word good to insinuate Gallagher, right? So then, would you want this good midfielder in your Man United team for forty million pounds? Bro, have you seen our midfield? So no. So I want a yes or no. I want a yes or no. Yeah, would I would take anyone at United. I would take anyone. No, no, say I want you to say there's yes or no. There's not many people I would there's so not many yes people no I wouldn't take over. I want to say I would take anyone. Say yes or no to Gallagher right now. 40 million pounds. He's a 40 good million. midfielder. I wouldn't take for yes. 40 million. That's my... Not 40 million. But he's a good midfielder, no? In the English market, yeah, English he's, he's 40 million. million. It's so cheap, right? That's a he's decent than, He's better than Anzu, yeah. Okay, sure. If you So you would take him for 40 million, no? Because he's English. So you got you taking with it. He's he's. Uh, I don't. I don't. I don't doing. think Anzu's worth it. Right, hold on, Spoobs. I'm. I'm gonna stop you right there. Okay, go ahead. You said Gallagher is better than Enzo. Yes, I. I think so. Yeah, and not yeah, in DM bro. position. Yeah. Nah, 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 bro. You smoking? What is wrong? Like, let me. With hey, that? let me get some of that hashish you smoking, bro. No, I need some of that. I'm. I'm. I'm tired like, of this Enzo fucking hype. I, he bro, hasn't done hey, anything. Listen, listen, people like, are. Like, is he? Like, is he because he's Argentine? All right. Is this my? Is this my? Don't say. It's just. my time to speak or no? He's definitely better. Is it my time to speak or is it your time to speak? I know. Yeah, let him speak. I want this. I want him to. Yeah, yeah, okay. Let him speak. Right. I'm tired of. Is it because he's Argentinian? I don't. I don't get it. What? It's a question for you. Is that what the guy matches too? Like hair? Is it because he got tattoos? Is that it? So is that what the guy matches too? He's he has tattoos. You're rating him highly. You're always on Granada defensive. That's because he's Argentinian. I can't even finish talking about Enzo without you interjecting. Wait, hold on. Can I ask you a question? Yeah, can you just explain how Gallagher is better than Enzo, please? And let him just explain. Yeah, give me all the elaborate. Give me all the quality. Please, please. Right. Uh, everybody can meet their mats, please. Speedy yeah, I'm going to mute mine. Yeah, but... yeah please. On, can I, can I finish what I'm saying? Okay. Right. So is it what is it that Enzo has done? If you can if you can lay something out, give me a, a time in Enzo in the last year, okay? This year and the last. Tell me what he has done. Please. Please tell me what he's done. He's a hundred fucking million. He's a World Cup winner. I, I, I don't understand it. Chelsea fans defend him to the death. To the absolute death. Okay? Tell me what is the difference between him and a Conor Gallagher. 
is he better? Actually, CP, I'll answer that question. Give me, give me what is what is no, no, we're asking you. No, we're asking you. No, we're asking you. You're the Chelsea expert. You're the Chelsea expert. You're the one with the angles and that. Don't know. I don't think there's much difference. You would think. I literally just said. I literally just said. I don't think there's much difference. I don't think there's much difference. But tell me those qualities. But tell me those skills. But he's as good as Enzo. I don't think they have. I don't think Enzo has better quality. Answer the question. That I, I can't you answer the question. Like, why can't you answer, can't the answer the question? Why can't you answer the question? No, because you're not letting me. No, because you, you right, literally on, just on, you tried to on. spin. Wait, wait, six sheep. You tried to spin the question. I just I said. said no, 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 listen, I'm doing it. No, no, wait, what he did, what he did is hold he, hold he hold Spoobs did, he did a Maza. He he answered a question with a question. No, 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 no. You answered a question with a question. Question is, question is, what is Gallagher better than Enzo at? That's the question. That's what my De Niro and Curry Pierre are asking you. That's it. Simple. Or as good as, because you're saying they're equal. As good as. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. If I was to put them, if Enzo was here, I'd put Gallagher, like, right here. Because I don't, I don't think there's a lot of difference between them. Uh, Gallagher is a better, is better at tackling. He gets around the pitch more. And I, I, I don't. Enzo isn't that good at passing. Why do people say Enzo's good at passing? Why? What? I, what is this? It's Argentinian. Is it? Is the Messi? Ta- is it the World Cup? Everyone just got the World Cup in their brain, and they're like, ooh. Like what is it? I don't get it. You guys, when I ask you a question, you can't answer me. What has he done in the last two years that's been insane to, to make minute, him better than Gallagher? Hey, what? That's been one year. Okay. Um, at Chelsea. Yes, at Chelsea. It's been one year. We bought him I last winter. What's, what's he done at Chelsea that makes him better than Gallagher? This guy hasn't even answered the question. Are you fucking okay? So let's go with the past. I'm, I'm, I'm asking. Sure, 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 sure. Don't say, um, oh my god. I, I would say Gallagher is definitely more mobile, right? Um, so was oh, so yeah. was so was a golden retriever. Um, so thing was great. That's how we were just rating things. Then um, Mount is now going to be the best midfielder well, in the Enzo family. Is can... then? As, as Enzo that's some the he has, yeah, That's been the whole fucking thing with him. He's good at passing range. He's literally top in top five in the league for progressive passes. Uh, He's a, deep line, he's a deep line playmaker. No, with success. No, no, he doesn't spam it like Fernandez. He literally has a 90% passing forward, forward, like a long ball, not just what? a little dinky he passes. Aggressive passes. He's a playmaker. Why, 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 can't you just, why can't you just name a game and be like, here, this is a game that Andrew's played amazing in. Why do you have to go like, oh, okay, he's got sure. he's a progressive pass. Okay, here. He's got can you, okay, okay. Pass. okay. He's got so, so no, no, you asked me traits. Now you're asking me games. So I'm asking one question at a time. You said traits, right? So I'm naming you the traits, but now you're bitching about what exact game. So let no. me tell you the traits <laughs> before you start bitching. I'm going to give you a game. little starts. So I'm te- yes, I'm telling you the traits because you said, oh, he's more mobile and better at pa- tackling Gallagher. So I'm telling you the traits that Enzo is way better than Gallagher at. He's better at passing. He's better at controlling the ball. He's not a fucking headless and chicken and those two things. He's better at free kicks for sure. He's and give me a game on that in. Aston Villa, he literally scored that banger of a free kick that everyone was jizzing what, about. What, what, he scored a free kick? That's, your, that's, your, that, that's what you point he, to. No, no, you told me a game where he was good at free kicks. I just gave you that. If you want another game where he's good at passing. Well done, Enzo. Well done. Like, what, what, what are we talking about? You're talking about general fucking play. He scored a free kick against Aston Villa. That's your fucking game you go back to. Liverpool. Liverpool. How about Liverpool? Beginning of the season. Liverpool? We literally, he literally Liverpool? controlled the game. He's a deep line team. Why are you making him? You? you know what? Okay, you know what? We're gonna if you want to do this, we're gonna fucking have a mad ass goals agenda. I fucking swear to God, if you keep pulling well, this. Let me let me let me let me just let me just nip this in the bud. No, 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 wait. I'll stop talking. I'll stop talking and we see when you really question these Chelsea fans about Enzo. See that they can't they can't even bring up games that he does well and see that. I literally was telling you Liverpool. Hey, you guys, you what did you get Liverpool? Oh, I didn't know what he didn't get Liverpool. Sorry, go ahead. If you guys Sorry. want to see a Skulls versus Enzo video, let me know. I will have 
Spooky yeah, me and Steve, you'll do it. No, 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 no. Oh, I'm we'll saying a skull versus. No, no, no. I'm not doing a skull versus Angelo, but I'm gonna have a skull versus fucking Frank Lampard with this bullshit. What does he do in attack? Oh my god, he's only tossing forward. We'll, 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 we know that skull is Lampard. one of the best. No, no, no. We know Skull is one of the best fucking passers that the league has ever seen. I'm not saying Enzo is, but I that's. Don't Enzo Skull schools. Do you not know, hear the end of my sentence? I said, I'm not saying Enzo is. Let me complete uh, right. fucking uh, answer. Hold on, hold on, hold on, KRP. Hold, hold on, KRP. This, 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 this guy, oh, Spoobs, yeah, he knows on. exactly what he's doing. He's he's a very intelligent individual. And what he's doing, he's, he's doing <laughs> I don't his think best he to rile you up. Granacho. No, 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 no. He's doing his best to rile you up, bro. He, he knows what he's doing. Look at So check this out. And every time you give him, every time you give him, you give him context to what he asks. He asks, hey, what game has he done it in? You gave him an You gave him an example. Oh well, oh it's just a, it's uh, Aston Villa, Aston Villa, and then you get you give him a, a game where he's controlled okay. a game. Oh oh, he just controlled a game. Oh ho oh, oh, ho, what else has he done? You know he's just doing it to rile you up. Don't fall for it. Don't fall for it. This guy Spoobs knows what he's doing. Spoobs is a troll. <laughs> Spoobs knows what he's doing. Look at him. Look at him over there just laughing it up. No, no, I'm, I'm just red as you know, look, I'm, look I'm asking. Him. I'm asking questions. And no, <laughs> and you're I'm wrong. Right. I'm, I'm stupid. Right. I'm just asking questions. Okay, I, what am I doing wrong? I can't ask questions. I'm, I'm dumb. So it's just, it's just like flawless. I was asking, why am I a crook? Why yeah. am I a crook? What, what, that's, what that's why you a crook, Spoobs. You a no, crook. What did Embrace it. You a crook. I gave you an example of when the traits he's got out. Then I give you examples of specific games he's exhibited those traits, and they're like, "That's it." When I, I, don't remember, things, I mentioned. I I don't remember his earth shattering performance against Liverpool. Did he have a good game or did he have an unreal game against Liverpool? Did he play he well? Was single, this was is the first shot performance? Yes, because he was literally controlling really? the field by himself when we didn't have Caicedo. Well, maybe, yeah. I, maybe I just missed this earth shattering performance since Liverpool you're talking about. Then I don't know. And also against against <laughs> Man City, the first time when we went toe to toe with Man City for the first time, he was fucking controlling that game. Same with our Arsenal. We he literally had the most progressive passes against. Declan fucking Rice and Martin Odegaard that entire game. Um, Even though we drew 2-2, two, two, he can't stop okay, what Sanchez okay, did. Then, okay, then CP, if you're honest, let me ask you this, right? Has he had more bad games than good games? I would say it's been 50-50. Oh, uh, now you're, no, you're the one that answers. No, 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 no. I'm, I'll tell you why. I'll tell you how. I'll tell you how. Most of the games have been mediocre. Like, I would say middle of the park. I would say a 6 out of 10, right? The good games he's had are also equal to the other dog shit games he's had. That's what I'm saying. But he's been just a bang average six. And that's not good enough, I agree, for a hundred million pound player. We have this discussion every fucking but then why don't you game. why don't you even acknowledge when I when I kind of <laughs> bro, 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 They're both bro, bang bro. average. That's what I put Scooby, there. Scooby, Scooby. Why are we spending so long on a section where I've battered fucking six no when we literally have another loss? Let me we say this every week. I said that's true. I, no, you're I, right. I'll stop. The last thing I'll say to this is, I, no, let me repeat this for the right. fifth fucking stream in a row. Next season, no matter who the fucking manager is, I said this exactly last stream and the stream before, if he does not perform to a higher level, even if we have fucking pots, I will be on his fucking ass. Not for this season because we have pots. Even if we have pots next season, once again, for Fair the enough. fifth stream in a row. Fifth stream. I don't know if hey, you, just, if you just remember, know. Just remember All this, moves. Last Goal year, he did league. ball out under a different manager. Well, I literally, he either, you said out. this last game. You literally said this last game. This is, I'm yeah. like reliving last stream again. I'm living re, re, reliving last stream because you said this last <laughs> fucking stream. You said this last fucking stream. <laughs> last, so, last year, he had a bad yeah, yeah, loss. And, 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 and Eli, you know what I said also last stream? Emotional damage. And Eli, you know what I also said last stream? stream? I said last stream, no matter who the manager is. No, you did say this. You did say this. I've said this five streams the fucking role. You you have said this, yeah. I even said you he was middle of the park last time. I even said he was middle of the park last time. He's been middle of the park last this season. How many? No, no, see, look, 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 look at this guy. Look at this guy's food. Look at him. Look at him. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. You know why you messed up, bro? You fell into the trap, man. I had to. We're running 6 0 on this man's fucking three ends of the six. I'm even trying to help you here. This guy crumbled when I said answer the question. Till now, he I still know. hasn't 
answered the same question. <laughs> 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 what? You run around and talk. No, I'm just saying. You can't un- just saying you can't answer the question. Hey, bro, CP, the allegation, uh, not CP, Spoof's allegations are strong right now, bro. You're ducking the question. <laughs> They're saying you're ducking the question. What now. What question is it? What What was no, the question? No, no, listen, I'm going to ask listen, you. I have, I'm listen, I have my own Enzo agendas, but I'm not comparing Enzo to no Gallagher. I didn't know none of that. <laughs> That's not that me. That's shameless, Spoof. Give That's me the difference, shame, bro. <laughs> what is the difference? What is the difference oh, between... Listen, 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 big man. Listen, I was with you. I was with you on the cooking until you said that. Listen, bro, I can't lie, bro. You need to answer the flipping question, bro. Who is... who? Why is Conor Gallagher better than Enzo Fernandez? Please take the lead and please just let us know, bro. Because he's had more right good games. my head is spinning, bro. Because what he's had more good game? games than Enzo. Huh? Because he's had more good games than Enzo. Hey, listen, hey, hey, please give Eli the... the Anyways, um, sorry, Sheik, I'll just say one last thing. I'll just say one last thing. Yeah. We're at two hours and ten minutes. Can we just move on to Spurs? Because holy fuck, we spent forty minutes on a, 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 where we won six mil. We won six mil. We spent no, twenty minutes on, on Chelsea. Hey, listen, listen, final, final listen! I told you, I told you, bro. He's doing this to wind you up, bro. He answered the question with a question on purpose yeah, yeah, because he you, wanted you, to get to you, fam. He fell for his trap, bro. Chelsea, when did they? What was? He knows how to get to you, bro. He knows how to get you. Look at his smiling face. Look at him. Look at his smiling face there. Look at him. Look at him. Hey. Hey, look! He he's been hanging around flawless too much. Look, look at him. He didn't he didn't picked up he didn't picked up his crook tendencies. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him, look at him down there smiling. He know what he did. What, you know what he did. Look at him. I can't look ask him. questions and uh, my brothers and my brothers. We can't ask questions. I guess. No, you can't ask questions. Anyway, we're like two hours and bro, let's, let's move. Let's move for two hours. Chelsea uh, Palmer cementing his uh, position for sign of the season. Six uh, 0 Um, fuck. I mean that. We, no one expected that result. Um, uh, pot pot chin, you know, if that's what this is what happens when a potch team uh, okay. finish their chances. Anyway, Sheik, would you like uh, to no, uh-huh. pick up potch, pot chin, uh, give them time, and uh, yeah, we'll play Chelsea. Anyway, anyway she go ahead. Hey, hey before before right, you switch, enough. before you before we get a, uh, another panelist, um. Uh, you know, thoughts. Spoobs, answer the question, fam. Answer the question. I didn't answer the question. No, 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 no. You guys asked me to drop it. You asked me to drop it. I'm dropping it. I said, I got Chelsea. Six no. No 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 uh, no. You not you Palmer. not you not escaping these allegations. Just not Gusto, just like you not you not you not escaping these these Garnacho allegations, Spoobs. You not escaping. MD what did you just say? Eli. I think we. <laughs> what did you just say? What did you just say? Wait, what did you just say about Gusto? Say that again. He, uh, uh, CP said that they bought Gusto for like thirty million or something. Yeah, but what, what were you trying to intend from that comment? Bro? Nothing, nothing, oh, not, yeah, nothing, <laughs> nothing. I wasn't trying to intend anything. I wasn't trying to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah, but I think we should agree. I think we should agree. Jackson, forty-five million. Spoofs and CP should have mm-hmm. their own like video one day, just just about mm-hmm. debating about this. Just air it out. I think it needs to air it all out. out. Yeah, all out. An I would hour, love hour 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 hour. I, I would do that all day. Air it out like a stanky farm, bro. We can, we can all we can all be here. We can all be the panelists. We can moderate. You know, we'll like. Hey, listen, I'll just sit back and chill. You know. I'm yeah, we'll like, sit back and just chill. Get no you know, get my little water here. You know what I'm saying? man. Yeah, man. Six like when I, you were your team went six 0 and uh, Captain Connors at the helm. You know that's fucking. That's hey, how it goes. I'm. I'll get be there. You, team. you and CP yeah. will be there. I'll be the judge. And De Niro mm. and Eli are the witnesses. They they're just mm. the witnesses. You know they're there. Nah, so I, can, I, I, I want to bring some of my own. You still a crook? You still a crook? I don't trust you. Didn't answer the question. The, you didn't the answer the question, Spoobs. I need you. I need you to answer the question. Answer the I question. Wanna, I want to bring independent judges and. No, 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 no. Hey, answer the question, bro. <laughs> why, why are you skirting these? Answer the question. No, let the no, you're you talking about like, court. This, bro. <laughs> I, I don't want to. I want this. independent nah. judges. No, nah, no, nah, you crook. No, nah, you started and you got to finish panel. it. I need the answer yeah. to that question now. My head's gone, bro. I need the answer. I don't know. I don't know what to think anymore, bro. CP took the drop. Come on. I respect the CP. And it's no, 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 no. You know exactly what you were doing, sir. They I won, need, they I need, I need this answer. 
I need this answer. How mm. in the world is Conor Gallagher better than Enzo please, Fernandez? Please, please, please explain this to me. So we can move been... on, please. please. Okay, yeah, yes. We, we got to move Niro, on. We yes. move on. Yeah. Go on, bro. All right, TP. Look, look, oh, come no, on. TP, the floor is yours. Food, food. What? What do you mean? You should move on. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> okay, so we're just all right. So this is what we're gonna do. So we're we're just ducking the question and we're moving on. Is that right? Spook? I don't. CP doing? asked. CP told me to not answer the question and out of <laughs> respect for his All right, right, so we're going we're going based off of CP today. Cool. All right, we'll yeah. move to Eli next. Eli. Okay. Chelsea versus Everton. <laughs> Give us your thoughts, hey. bro. Your yeah. hey, let me just I'm, I'm yeah. gonna just make this clear i'm gonna just make this clear chic you got the banner fam you got the banner right yeah, i do i do i have the banner yeah yeah, yeah we need that banner okay. we need that banner what's up what banner thank you thank you yeah, right, there. right there right there that banner. wow just no, that banner. Go just on, no, just no people we do not agree with spooby on that we do not agree with Spooby on I've, that. I, I thought the Mud Brothers as an old look in them panel, but no, they're trying to suit me. Look at this guy. <laughs> anyway, anyway, just know that we do not agree that Enzo Fernandez is a worse player than Conor Gallagher. He, he is not. He is better than Conor Gallagher. Let's, just, let's just get that straight. Let's get that out the way. Now, on to the game. Cole Palmer. My baller. I love that guy. That, that dude is a baller. Like that first goal, sick. That link up between him and Palmer, that back heel, one touch pass, sick. Woo. sick. Yeah, sick. Very good goal. Oh, the goal for his hat trick, bro. Yo, Cole, Cold Palmer, that guy. All these teams that were not looking at him, we <laughs> we deserve a swift kick in the nuts for that because. We missed out on a baller, yo. We missed out on a baller. Let, let's get it straight, because I could have used them, and De Niro could have used them. Uh, <clears throat> Sheik and Spoobs could have used them. Bro, like, this this guy's a baller, bro. Definitely, without a doubt, like, he solidified today that he's one of the best ballers in the league at the moment. Big up to my guy, Jacob. Big but um, Yo, big yeah, up, Jacob. It, big up. Man, Shout listen. Out. Listen, that brother hold Cole that, Palmer. Jacob, hold that, hold it. He's different. Fucking hold that. He's different. He is different. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't know what else I could say about Cole Palmer other than that he's him. And the fact that he took that penalty, like they, you know, I don't I don't agree with you on this, uh CP. I don't I don't think um uh, I don't think uh from what I saw, I don't think Nico Jackson was trying to uh, defend um, Matawaka. I think he wanted to take the penalty, too. They were all fighting. And then Matawaka was just like, you know what? Forget it. We'll just go ahead and let Cole Palmer take it. It is what it is. But um, <clears throat> yeah, he took the he took the he took that penalty, as he always does. Ice cold. Ice cold finish. Cole Palmer with the cold celebration. You know what I'm saying? I love that guy. Uh, Nico Jackson balled out. I keep t- I kept telling people that. This guy, this guy's a baller. You know what I'm saying? He might not be the coldest finisher, but what he does, what he doesn't, what he lacks in finishing, he more than makes up with his overall game. You know, link up play, first touch, you know, the fact that he can he he has that physicality to, you know, battle, you know, kind of shrug players off, keep possession of the ball. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he bro, yeah. Jackson is cold. I, I like him a lot. I like him a lot, and I love what he offers to the team. Um in terms of Mudrick, I'm seeing some improvements from him. Spoobs. Spoobs. <laughs> He's improving, Spoobs. You know, Damn. man like Spoobs. I know, I know, I know you were you were you were you were throwing shade at uh Mudrick, you know. Uh he, he said a certain God Nacho was better than uh I- Mudrick. You know, what I'm saying? I can't he, get rid of Gallagher improving. prop, and he gets away with Mudrick prop. Like fucking hell! Come on. Hey, hey, hey I'm this? just saying. I'm just saying. You seen? You seen the game today? Mudrick was playing well. You know, what I'm saying he he's definitely improved, and that that was my whole point. Uh, but yeah, Chelsea played well overall. Caicedo had a decent game. Um, Gallagher had a decent game. They were solid defensively. Uh, Gusto with another imperious uh imperious performance. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Other than that, I mean, I. I Shame on Everton. <laughs> Shame on Everton, bro. Y'all let Chelsea put six past y'all. <laughs> yeah, man. Yo, Pickford, what were you doing for that third? What, what were you doing for that hat trick, bro? What were you? What, why was you so far at your goal, fam? Why was your defender further back than you were? What were you thinking, fam? <laughs> what were you thinking? 
Hey, Big Fit with the Bozo Gene. Big Fit with the Bozo Gene. He's supposed to be England's best goalkeeper, and he's doing stuff like that. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. But, you know, it is what it is. Shout out to Chelsea. Shout out to Cole Palmer. Shout out to Nico Jackson. Real ballers, real ballers. But, uh, yeah, that, that's my thoughts on the game. Hey, Cole, I beg, win the golden boot, I beg. Don't let that robot don't let that robot get it. I don't want him winning that. We'll try. We'll Please. try. For the good of football. Do, it, do we'll it for try. the culture. Do it for the real ballers. Do it for the real ballers, bro. I need you to. I need you to do that for me. Cold Palmer. I need you to win the golden boot, my brother. Love you as a player, Shout out fam. Cole Palmer. Shout out Cole Keep doing Palmer, what you're man. doing, brother. Keep doing what you're doing. Just don't do it against Arsenal, please. I bet. <laughs> I beg you, you do. I beg you, do. I beg you, do. Anyways, we move on to the final team that we will discuss. The team from London. Um, we move. We go to Newcastle. Actually, we traveled to Newcastle uh, this week. You know, the Spurs traveled to Newcastle early game. I definitely didn't check it out. I woke up late for the first half of the United game because it was like a four thirty a.m. game for me. First of all, I am waking up to watch Spurs at four thirty a.m. Fuck. Who the fuck would do that? That's crazy, right? But anyways, um, we move on. We move on to Newcastle versus uh, Tottenham 4-0. The final, the final game, the final game of the week. Um, M. De Niro, we go to you, my friend. Floor is yours. You get to, you get to go ahead and yeah, Jacob. I'm glad you are here as well. Yeah, and, Jacob. Um, yeah, yeah. Because we, we get to discuss this with you as well. You know, I wake up. He says I woke up at 5 a.m. And because you're, you're a Spurs fan, I. I I totally get that. Um, that 100% makes sense. Sometimes I don't like waking up for United games at 4.30, but shit, got to do it for content. So I totally get it. M. De Niro, we'll go to you, though, my friend. Thoughts on the game, bro? Hi, lad. Hi, lad. Hi, lad. I told you a lot weeks ago. What I, I remember there was a game that we... we um, that we fumbled the bag, I think it was even it was even way before the West Ham game. I'm trying to remember the exact game. Somebody will definitely know. But I said on Flawless's channel, first of all, I said that yes, Ange Postokoglu obviously is coming and he's implemented a nice style of play that I like to see. Guaranteed. Ange Postokoglu has come in, made my life better. Not made my life significantly, significantly, um, fully like pulverized and happy, but he's made my life better. Yeah, no, I spoke about this high line thing, and what did I say to you, lot? You lot can vouch. I said that every it's not every game you can go to a game with the same tactics. You can't play a high line against every single team in the league. Sometimes you got to maybe tweak your tactics just a little bit. Do you get what I'm saying? So now, let's get into the game. Once again, we're playing against the Alexander Isaac, yeah? Who has got a lot of pace, bro. Yes? We're playing against the Anthony Gordon, who has got a lot of pace, bro. So when we're playing with this high line, do you not think that there's going to be certain players that are going to be able to beat this high line? Of course there is. So on top of that now, let me just give you the blueprint of this, which is why I say football knowledge is sometimes not just based on what you see. It's based on what you've even seen before. Yeah. Arsenal last season. Yeah. They came into the season. They were playing some football that nobody had seen them play before. Obviously, it was a surprise to people. But one of the reasons why Arsenal fell off last season was the fact that people caught on to how they were trying to do this inverted thing. And then Arsenal kept going into every single game, inverted, 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 and didn't have a plan B. Yeah. So then when they didn't have a plan B, they were getting nullified by low blocks like Everton, getting nullified by low blocks from other teams, whatever. Cool. So now... As a Spurs team, do you not think that the blueprint is to just take a bit of stubbornness out of your game? Yeah, as a manager, for me personally. And by the way, before people start talking and saying a madness, I'm not saying Posto Koglu out. I'm just talking about what I've seen so far. So what I'm saying now is this. When you now get into these games, you think that people, as a footballer myself, once again, I'll keep using 
there are certain teams that play the same way all the time. You think that teams are not on the training ground saying, this is how we're setting up to beat Spurs' high line. This is what I want you to do, you to do, and you to do. Do you, we not think that this is happening over Spurs fans? Because this is where it is. So, if, for example, but look, at the end of the day, I, I understand what you're trying to say, but, like, what's it called? Um, what's it called? We can execute and get two to three. I'll get to the strikers, or I will get to the strikers. Timo Werner will be addressed in, in, in this stream. He will be addressed. But, I oh, bro, he will be addressed. So you even beat me to it. You beat me to it. Oh, he was going to get addressed. <laughs> I just thought, let me just start off. Like, Go on, yeah, yeah. Yeah, obviously, everybody knows my, my feelings towards Timo Werner. But, yeah, obviously, like I was saying is that I just think certain games, when we get into this... To, uh, to, to playing against certain teams. I just think that this highline thing, sometimes you need to make tweaks. Teams are setting up and knowing how we're going to set up. They're trying to set up well against us, even though we should finish our chances 100%. But at the same time, when we're playing this high line, we give away so many more chances. Obviously, we, we're, obviously I can see Postacoglu is depending on goals, win games. That's his mentality. I'm guessing that's what he thinks to himself. But I just think sometimes as a manager, you have to take away being stubborn in it. And I feel like if there's a red flag I've caught from uh, Postacoglu, it's stubborn in it. Because when you look at um, red flags, as in red flags of Ten Hag, let me tell you where a lot of United fans messed up and why I'm not surprised Ten Hag is doing what he's doing now. It's because the red flag was when he first lost 7-0. He lost 7-0 to Liverpool. That was already a red flag that he hit. Now, my red flag for Posto Koglu, yeah, is the fact that we were playing a Chelsea with nine men and you consisted to still play a high line. So that's a red flag to me, showing that you're not really willing to change tactics right now. But that can change if next season... He comes with, he gets everything he's given. That's why I said next season, I'm going to wait for him to get everything he's given in it. Let him get the, 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 the everything that he's given. Let him have the players that he wants. Let him have the system that he wants to build, whatever. Now, Pedro, yeah, Pedro Porro once is another one that I'm going to address here. That game, he had a poor game. I think obviously with him, he's very good at going forward, but in his in his defensive ways, he has a lot of defensive frailties that I've seen. That obviously I wouldn't say it's a big problem, but I'll just say that he has a lot of defensive frailties. So it'd be nice to get to get fullbacks that can um contend with him. So that'll definitely be something I want to see in the market. Obviously, a dogi get me just one of them games. Van der Ven, one of them games. They don't have those type of games too often. Romero as well, like. With Romero, like I, I, no, oh, like I, I rate Romero in it, but it's just, I don't know, man. Like sometimes I, he, I feel like we just need another backup, maybe one more backup centre back in it, just one. Do you get me? Just, just, just to have that that option. But um, yeah, man. Like just going on to 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 move on, we'll go on to Basuma now. No, Basuma, listen, brother, 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 Basuma, brother. Um. Yeah, you have to give him grace, definitely, definitely. But Basuma, my brother, I need you to wake up for me, bro. I really do. I really need you to wake up for me because you're going back to the ways you were playing against Conte or playing for Conte. Obviously, Conte didn't really play you, but when you played, this is how you were playing. And you're absolutely just stinking out the place, bro. Like, I rate you. But I need to see some type of consistency because I don't know what's made you kind of fall off. Obviously, I, I see you got the... Obviously, it was like... I think it was even when you came back from the red card that your performance has kind of just dropped. So I feel like, bro, like I need to start seeing something from you. But I need to see the player that I've seen at the beginning of the season. Because right now, the performances that you're putting out there, they're, they're, they're stinking out the place, bro. And you see me, I'm a man of uh, low patience, bro. I'm a very, I have a low patience, bro, when it comes to football. So I need you to start improving. Obviously, Madison, you get me, just coming, you still the injury, I can see you're still trying to recover and all of that, but you get me, need you to amp up your game a bit more. Brennan Johnson, I have no words, you flipping stink. I don't care how well you, you play, I don't give a toss, you stink. Like, I don't want to see you at my club, but obviously you're going to be there, so I'm just going to have to deal with that. And now we get to the main 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 focus of today 
Timo flipping Werner. <laughs> hey, you see Timo Werner, bro. I pray. I'm consistently going to be praying to God. Um, I do not want to see this guy at my club next season. If I do, I will bang out, bro. I will, bro. I will get so vexed, bro. Because you see where it is that like, Spurs fans, it, we're, we're too settled in this thing of, oh, yeah, we shouldn't lose our, lose our bottle. Brother, I've been patient for my whole life, bro. I've been patient for my whole life, bro. And now you want to bring me guys that team of one and tell me that I should be calm. That I should be calm, bro. I'm not calm, bro. It's not, it's, bro, it's not good. It's not looking good. Like, bro, I just don't understand. I'm a man that if I was to be in this football game as a manager, I will just look at blueprints of other teams, bro. I will look at blueprints of other teams. What made these guys think that this guy was going to come here, bro? to Spurs who are already in a struggle trying to win trophies, bro. And this guy's going to be the one to lead us to a trophy. Like, please, somebody just answer me and tell me where this comes from, bro. Who told you this, bro? Like, so, oh, go on, go on, go on. You, you, you he, he, he made, the, he, he made the distraction run for Kai Havertz to score the goal. Bro. <laughs> That's what people say, dude. I'm so, labored bantering. That's what, literally what people say. Bro, like, bro, I, I appreciate it, bro. Now, I just, you know, like, I, I'm not, I, you see, I can shout and I can scream, but I, I don't want to shout and scream because at the end of the day, I'm not in the same positions as some. I'm going to keep it real with you, look, bro, on this Mud Brothers thing today. I'm going to let out my heart, bro. I'm not in the positions to be talking as shamelessly as I do, but I will do it anyways. But one thing I want to let you guys know is that Bro, it's not easy out here when you ain't won a trophy in since 2008. And one of the reasons why it just angers me as a Spurs fan, because all my life, man, them have brought Timo Werner to this club. Listen, Son still, I'm not going to get onto Son because Son, I, I can't lie, at times when I've needed him, he's come through. So I'm not going to get onto him for it. When you got money in the bank, I can't get onto you. I can just say you had a bad game. That's all it is, bro. You, I can just say you have a bad game. But, bro, like, Timo Werner, bro, did you not see the shot that he had when Brennan Johnson crossed that in? Brother, even just get that on target, bro. Just get it on target, please, brother, man. Like, bro, I know you're a footballer, you're a striker for a reason, bro, Ski. Like, do you, you've never seen a goal post in your life, Timo, bro? Like, bro, this is what it is, man. Like, even when he used to score for Chelsea, bro, it was like he scored the goal by accident, bro. Like, and then we really decided to just bring this guy to our club, bro. And yeah, man, like, see, this is why I like Spurs fans like this, because he knows the truth. There's other Spurs fans talking about, no, don't lose your stuff out of the pram. I, bro, I have lost my stuff out of the, thrown my toys out of the pram since 2000 and after, like, maybe let's even say 2012. And I was 12 years old. I was 12 years old, brother. I'm a young man. I'm a very young man. So I need to start seeing, yeah, is is look. Yeah, do you get, bro, see, see, bro, bro, big up, big up, bro, big up, big up, bro. Because you see where it is, bro, he's even just getting, because right now I'm struggling for words to even put out here right now, man. Like, it's actually, you man think this is a joke, you man think this is funny, bro, I'm actually going through a lot of pain here, bro. Like, I'm going through pain with this club, bro. Arsenal fans are the only thing that brings me joy because of the fact that your club is not going to win anything this season. You lot are the only thing that brings me joy right now, bro. Like, I'm loving the football, like I said, that Spurs played when we score goals. But, bro, I need to see some trophies, bro. Even if it's a conference league, bro, I just need to see something, bro. I need to see something. Next season, this is what I'm going to do, bro. This is what I'm going to do, innit? Like, next season, Postacoglu, please, brother. I just hope that this naive certain circumstances you've been naive and I hope they don't continue. I hope that it's just the fact that you've got these type of players and you just have to play like that. And I hope next season that you have a perfect season and you win me a domestic trophy, bro. Please. So may I ask, please, 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 please. Brothers, take it easy on me, please. Take it easy on me. I know I, know I do a lot of things, but just relax in it. Because it, it, it's not easy, bro. It's not easy, bro. Like, I, I just need to see some software. So please post the cookie. I'm, 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 you get it, bro. Like, we will come back to this next year, this stream. But please, like, bro, please, please.
Just a domestic trophy, bro. That's all I ask. That's all I ask. Please. Thank you, brother. I just have one question to you, Antonio. It's go not. Ahead, I'm not. It's something to troll. It's. Uh, do you still think you finished top four? Just, oh no, no, hundred percent. Speed be hard that we're finishing top four. I don't give a toss. The bro, that's why I was even kind of happy that Arsenal lost because even Arsenal losing, it doesn't really affect like the, the top four thing, man. Big up Jacob as well, bro. It doesn't really affect the top four because Big at up. the end of the day, up to Jacob, man. You get me. Yeah, like, at the end of the day, bro. Like, I'm not going to lie to you, bro. Even them winning that game, we still got a game in hand against them. If we get maybe three to four goals in the next game, we'll be on top of them. And on top of that, Aston Villa will guarantee drop points again. So I'm not too worried, brother. Don't worry about top four. Let's, that's that's not the problem. The problem here is I need a trophy. That's the problem, bro. So this high line thing, what I will address is I said this high line, high line needs to calm down. Do you get me? Just calm down a bit. Let's have some tweaks, have a plan A, plan B. You get me? So that we next so next season we go into the strong. Because if we have a plan B, I understand Posto Cogni is talking about um what's it called? I have to, I, this is just how I play, mate, and blah, blah, blah. But brother, you don't go into a gunfight holding a knife, brother. Let's be honest here, man. So that nine men when we True. played, I'll still use that as an example. That nine men when we played Chelsea and we let that flipping guy flip and do the suit at our turf, bro. Yeah. You get me, bro. I don't want to be seeing that again. You get me? Because if we held that nine men there, maybe we even leave that game with a draw. And the whole point of football, football is a results game, bro. We want to see results. If there's nine men, eight men, seven men, try to get the result. That's all that matters, bro. So, like I said, against Newcastle, I understand he's saying that this season we need to try to work things out. But at the same time, bro, you need to remember that we were top of the league for, what, 10 games or so? So if we're top of the league for that long, bro, your season, the, the 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 objective of your season changes, bro. Do you understand? So at the end of the day, people will say, oh, we weren't meant to win anything in the first place. But I don't care, bro. Your objective changes at the beginning of the season. So I'm just saying that's my red, fa- red flag for Posta Cogli, just a bit of stubbornness. And yeah, man, like, please, brother, just next season, innit? Yeah. Get me a little domestic trophy. That's all I ask for, bro. Thank you. Please, Fair enough. Spoops, I see you in the comments. You dropped something. You said Spurs fans need to call out Slippy V. So the floor is yours, Spoops. We go straight to you. Uh, let us know your thoughts about uh, Newcastle 4, d- Spurs yeah. nil. De Niro said he needs a trophy. De Niro, don't hold your breath because it's not going to come. Um, also, um, what is this? It must be amazing being a Spurs fan. There's no accountability. There's no pressure. You can get hammered 4 0. You can finish third, fourth, fifth, and no one says anything. Yet you can have all this chest and come at other teams. Like, it must be amazing because there's literally no responsibility that you guys have. Also, you're getting that Timo Werner. We know Timo Werner's shite, we know he's terrible. Why don't you crash on your fucking real players? Where's Son at? Where's where's he at? Son? No, he's not. He's not yeah, relax here. With okay? the sun, relax with the Son thing, bro. Relax with the Son. What? What? Did he? He had an awful game, did he not? Yeah. Okay. That game. Yeah. Let's put it on that game. But you get me. Let's. You get me. But, but then why? But but why not call it Son? Where's the Where's the Son? Oh, how are you, bro? This guy, bro. Please. Hey, I don't know what drugs that you take. First of all, the drugs you take, you need to stop taking them. Stop comparing these players to certain players, brother. Yeah? Don't ever put Son and Timo Werner in the same sentence ever again, bro. I don't give a toss how bad your performance was. Don't you ever, ever in your life, bro, put Son and Timo Werner in the same sentence again, bro. I don't care what else you have to say. You can say anything, but Brother Daniel. Brother Daniel. In there, bro. He's doing this to you, too, my friend. He's doing this to you, too. He did it with the don't yeah, don't yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. My, brother, my brother. My brother, I know my brother. I don't know what am I doing? What am I doing? I don't know you what you're saying. You said. You're in Timo weren't in the same flipping <laughs> sentence, bro. What do you mean? No, 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 no. I didn't put I didn't say that. Did I think that we can expect more out of Sun than we can Timo Werner? Would you agree with that? Oh, yeah, of course. Okay, so then why are you crashing on fucking Warner and not crashing on Sun? Because he stinks, bro. Listen, but listen. Son stink this no, game. No, 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 no. Listen, Son listen. was awful this game. He was terrible. He done we're nothing. Not we're not doing this, bro. We're, he we're, done the, absolutely the nothing. The agendas are Son heavy with moves today. Hey, what? What's, it's not. How's it an agenda? Did Son have a good game or not? 
bro, Spivy, I didn't watch think? the game. I didn't watch the game. Son had an awful <laughs> game, I'll tell you. He okay, had an cool. awful okay, game. We're gonna do this. Son was terrible. We're gonna do this again. Yeah. Let, me, let me let me let me ask you. <laughs> let me let me let <laughs> me Jacob's rattled. Yeah, bro. He's yeah, going on. Let me ask you. Please, I need to ask you this, bro. So the same Enzo Fernandez agenda that you, you decided that you wanted to run, yeah? You wanted to run this agenda now, yeah, and talk about all of these things and blah, 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 X, Y, and Z, yeah? <laughs> now, bro, please tell me this season. I want you to answer this question for me right now. Can you answer and go and find me some stats for this season and just go find them and I want you to answer. I'm not going to answer. I want you to answer this for me. Find them stats and go and answer it for me. Go on. What stats? Go and find Son's stats for this season. Read me. I'm not talking about the stats, Jose. Yeah, I'm no, talking. No, no, did Son have a stinker yes, this game, no. yes or no? G, G, G. Answer that question. I answered your question already. This, this he did. So That's all I was saying. Why are you so getting so defensive? Question, why are you getting That's so defensive? I'm question, just asking you, did Son have a bad game today oh, or oh, the no, other no, no, no. day? Yes or let no? Me, let, me, let me answer you. I'm going to answer your question right now again, yeah? I said Son did not play where well. I answered your question. But what I said to you, you now answered me back and said, oh, why are you crashing out on Timo Werner, but you're not crashing out on Son? I said Son had a bad game, bro. But don't ever start saying, oh, why are you crashing out on Son? But not? Because they're different players, bro. No, 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 Timo no. Werner don't get the same leeway that Son no, gets. No, no, De Niro, you're yeah, being disingenuous. Like no, 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 no. I said this, this guy's trying to rattle me. Like, you're, De Niro, De Niro, this is what you were like, oh, yeah. Yeah, no, son, no, no, no. son had a son had a bad game. Yeah, fucking Timo Werner, he was shit. He was the fucking worst thing. I, son had just as a bad as a game as Werner did. Did he not? Bro, 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 bro. Listen, all I'm gonna say to you, bro. Look, I'm not gonna let you get your way here. I'm not gonna let you get your way here because you're the same bro that was using God natural props. So I don't give a toss. But let me just say something right now on it. Yeah. Because this is what we're going to do here, bro. You just literally mentioned to me before that Conor Gallagher is better than Enzo Fernandez. That's the first thing you said. If I can recall the weeks before, we were even running Garnacho prop as well. So, brother, I'll be real. I will not let you get to me, bro. I will not let it happen. This is what you tried to do with me with the top 14. You thought you were smart, bro. You need to go and worry about Bruno Fernandez, bro. That's what you need to do. You need to go and worry about Garnacho. That's what you need to do, bro. Yeah, so before we start running any Son agenda... Is the United segment? Bro, no, 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 bro, bro. Before we start running any agendas here, bro, I beg you, just focus on them man. there, bro. Focus on them, bro, please. He's absolutely... I'll continue. Rattled, man, with this Son thing, bro. This guy... I'll, con I'll continue <laughs> my... I'll continue my Spurs oh, continue, game analysis. Continue, bro, yeah. continue now, continue. Um... Uh, we can also get on to Van de Ven. Like, I've seen Spurs fans come who's the best centre back in the league. Um, so oof, he got put in a fucking he got put in a fucking headstand at, at that game. Um, we can all go and look at the picture. Um, how can like he had it? Like he has been a constant performer, but man, he got destroyed. That he looked awful that game. Dinero, why do you think he looked so bad that game? Bro, are you alright, bro? <laughs> what? Bro, what? This, I'm just asking a bro, question. Bro, you bro. go back to your boy Willie, bro, since you like him what? so much. What? Is what? this the United that? segment? I just asked nah, you why he looks too bad. Hey, hey, yo. Bro, hey, you go yo. chat. Yeah, that's an IO because he's an IO. You are a walking <laughs> IO, bro. Yeah, this all this Willie come. I just asked you why he looks so bad this game. What's bro, so listen, bad about at that? The the day, at the end of the day, listen, like I said to you, man, I said this to you lot before. Certain players have leeway. Van der Ven has been one of our best defenders this season, yeah? He had a bad game. He got spun in the league. Like, but, but let's be real here. Let's be real here. The crumble, it just happened to be one of those teams. It happened to be, sorry, one of those games where everything fell apart. And that's what happened. Everything fell apart. So, but what I will let you do is I will let you do your game analysis. But draw, so when you're drawing the picture and painting the picture, let's paint the right picture, bro. Don't start trying to be cheeky and trying to do a CP with me, brother, because I will be back, bro. Like I always say to you every week, I will be back. And I've been nice with you, you know. You know what? I've been nice to you, bro. Shiver me tempers. Been, I've reserved my cookings for you, but brother, I'm telling you now, bro, this agenda you're running, I will be clipping you, bro. You can clip me, but I will be clipping you. 
And you Cut know what? All you want. No, 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 no. You say this now. But when I do the clip, like out of context, sarcasm TV, City TV, the people <laughs> in the world will never know what the context was to what you said, bro. I will make sure they're in your DMs, bro. I will, bro. So let's, let's, let's listen, listen, brother. Listen, brother, yeah? Look, at the end of the day, we lost the game. We didn't play well. Do you get me? I've spoken about this highline thing. I rate the football we play, but I just think sometimes it's not just to be playing highline every game in it. Certain teams, when we go against them, we need to have a plan B in it. Just have some yeah. tweaks, have some whatever. So that's my thing about this. Current. But I think next season, Postal Cobble, you just give him everything he wants, then he will be judged accordingly. In it. But I just say that certain things are just red flags. The, the, the stubbornness to me is just a bit of a red flag thing but yeah man like you get me spooby bro you, you get me i don't know what what they're they're giving you in that country or in i don't that. i don't know why yet me asking you why <laughs> did van de ben have a bad game put you off in a i don't know what they're that, giving you in that country i don't know whether it was the shot no way i don't know whether the shot from last week is still affecting your brain um i don't know whether it's one of those ones where the weather you're you better get ready for the again. shot i don't know whether you're under the weather again but you know where it is, broski. I just need you to go after the stream. I need you to just go into go go downstairs and just splurge a bit of water in your face for me. That's what I need you to do, so you can wake up and smell the coffee. That's what I need you to do. I think Spurs fan need to smell them like the coffee and stop. Uh, <laughs> obviously, fucking uh, crashing on Timo Werner. We know his shit. And Jacob, if you want the link, she will give it to you. You can get on here. And I'll talk to you too. Okay. Well, you can take also, Timo Werner since you want him so bad, bro. You can have it. No, I'm just I'm just saying keep the uh, same no, standard. No, no, no. Oh, go on well, look at this crashing on Team oh, Warner. How about you crash on Sunday? You've had a shite game. Bro, just admit it, Ethan. Just admit it. Big up, Jacob. Definitely. But bro, big up, Jacob. Everybody sounds the United States person in America, man. Big, big up, up, Jacob. Jacob. Big up. Let's 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 not do this, baby. Bro, like, I well, why can not I ask why players are having a bad game? Because it's not it's not the fact you asked. It's the agenda that you have behind what you're asking, brother. I don't have a Van der Ven agenda. I'm just asking you, why did he perform so badly that so game? Who was actually the worst in the back line in, in that game, according to you? I don't think it was Van der Ven. I don't think he was the worst. Exactly. So what, exactly. So you've answered my question once again. So why are you I trying to ask, answer your question. No, no, no. So, see, he's so your was, fucking golden boy. He can't so do so anything who, wrong. Spurs fans can't. Brother. Come on, bro. You know what it's. You know what's going on. Brother, brother. Who was the worst player in the back line once again? Um, I didn't think Romero had a good game either. I think the whole back line didn't have a good game. Pedro Porro wasn't good either. Pedro Porro, main player to me personally, that was in the back line. That didn't have all right, all right. Hold on, hold on one second, one second, one second. Let me, let me. I, I, I just need to interject real quick. Spoobs, my brother, my broski. Why do you keep changing the question? The question was. Why are you not criticizing Son? Now it's why is Van de Ven a, a terrible defender? Agenda. What what, what is this? Agenda. It's not what an agenda. This, I'm, I'm, I'm try, just I'm asking De Niro. Out. I'm asking De Niro to keep the same standards when he's criticizing Werner to, to, at the same level of Son. That's it. No, but, <laughs> but it went from there. It went from there to, to because they both had a shit Vin. game. Why? Because they both had a terrible game. I'm are not saying that. So, I'm not saying Werner's better than Son. No, I'm not are you saying talking that. about? Are you just talking the next time? Yeah, when you're putting speaking about something, yeah, I've been told this when I was growing up as a young man. Yeah, speak with context, bro. Don't be just throwing out statements like that, bro. You gotta say based on the game that was just played. I don't want to hear Timo Werner just get onto Timo. No, brother, because you you put it in a context of oh, every week I get onto Timo Werner, but I don't get onto Son. Yes, I do. Yes, I nah, do. You bro. Not at the same level. Yes, not at the same level. You bro. Not at the same level. No, bro. You're not listening. You're not listening. This is what you, you brother. Listen, I'm gonna teach you a lesson here, my young boy. Yeah. Listen, what you need to do, bro, is listen to me carefully, brother. Yeah. Timo Werner for weeks, even when we've won games and Son has actually produced in them games, has played dead, bro. The guy came into this game once again and has played dead, bro. Son came into this game, played dead. But if we go look at other games, he did not play dead in the other games that he has played. Bro. So don't throw out the statement like I should be comparing the two week in, week out. Because one plays well, 
week in, week out, to a certain standard. It's not always that he plays higher, but he still plays to a certain standard. And one oh, has been dead, this? and one has been dead for weeks on end. If we're going to talk this? about, if we and you know why you can't say what is this? If we're going to talk about the Newcastle game, I literally just said to you, and I will say it again because I know your your ears, your Manchester United ears are a bit thick, bro. So I'm going to say it one more time, bro. Timo Werner had a bad game. Son had a bad game. They both played bad, but Timo Werner will hold the most corn from me, no matter what, because I don't want him at my club. I will keep Son at my club any day of the week. So that's why certain people hold certain more triggering corn than others, brother. Does that sound more better? Does, does that... No, it sounds like a it sounds like a pussy's way out. Oh, it sounds yeah. like a, oh, I'm yeah. just pussy yeah. 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 I don't want to criticize my star, but oh, son, I love you, son. I'm not going to criticize you. Oh. No, it just sounds it sounds like a it sounds like a weaselly kind of way out. I'm, Hold the same chest. Smiling, be, right, cons- right. be consistent. Be I'm consistent. Be consistent. And, and okay. I'm not CP with the Enzo Fernandez thing. I don't run the son prop of son, son, son. Everybody he knows me knows. You I love son. Him. You love him. Though. Would you keep nah, him next season? Hey, all I'll say is, you see, uh, Spoobs, you are questioning what um, Son did this previous game. M. De Niro is basically defending Son, saying that he's done it most of this season. We'll end it at that. I think Son's a good player. I don't think you should go. You should be going for Son. We're going for Timo Werner because you should. Because we expect this. We know he's shit, but that's the point. Yes, we I know get he's that. Shit. But but I, we I, also I, acknowledge I the fact that Son had a bad game. That's yes, that's bro. not that's not what we're saying. We're saying Son Sean perform, had a bad game. No, I, uh, week in, week out. Why do okay? Why do I always go for gar- players like Garnacho? Player, why do we always go for players like Bruno if we know he's shit? Context, know? people. It's not. It's not that, bro. It's not that. It's it just, is. Obviously, no he's shit. Go for Werner. Why would I crash on Werner when I know he's a shit player? I know he can hit a barn door. What, you don't need to keep telling me he can't hit a barn door. I know he can't. We, we've seen seasons and seasons of him not hitting a barn door. Bro, 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 bro. He's at my club, bro. I will definitely get onto you when you can't hit a barn door. You crazy, bro. Well, I don't could, care. Bro, if Son, if son, son let, me, let me even show you something. Let me even give you an example, yeah? If Son starts hitting a barn door, I would do the same exact thing. If he regularly hits a barn door every week, week in, week out. I get onto Brennan Johnson week in, week out. There was even a week I didn't even get onto Timo Werner as bad as Brennan Johnson. This week, Brennan Johnson didn't hold as much corn as Timo Werner for one reason. I personally think that Brennan had a better game than Timo Werner. But I still dislike Brennan Johnson. I don't like him. I don't want him at my club at all. But he's here and I've got to deal with it. So when he's here, he needs to try to perform to a certain standard. Timo Werner is the same player. The point I'm making this pro- properly as well is because I don't want to see Timo Werner at my club next season, bro. He's on loan. He is on loan. So when you're on loan, I'm going to hold you to it, bro. I'm going to hold you to it. But this is what I'm saying, bro. Like, I'll let you United fans be happy. Make your pro Because you see, my striker scores goals, bro. My striker ain't like your striker, bro. You wish you had my striker, bro. In fact, you even wish you had Gabriel Jesus at this rate, bro. So let's just calm down, bro. Let's calm down, bro. This is where That's it is. Not true. That's not true. No, no, you said you would take anybody at United. I recall that statement. Do you want me to rewind? In the there? midfield, yes. In the midfield, oh, yeah, yes. Man, I can rewind when you've said you'll take anyone. I, at United. Yes, I can. I, De Niro, yeah. I have a, I have a brain. I, we were talking about the midfield because it was during the Enzo and the Gallagher shit. It wasn't any it. player at United. It was the midfield. It. I'll find it. Find it. Find it. I'll find it. Anyways, Eli, we'll go to you, man. Last one left. For, for about this game, Newcastle 4, Tottenham no. Obviously, you're a North London rivals. Um, you still have something to laugh about over them. You know, obviously, you guys took an L, yes. You you guys lost to Ashton Villa, which I think was a more important game for sure. But they still, they got packed 4-0. So the floor is yours, man. At least some excitement in the weekend. Yeah, I just had to uh just had to play that, you know, you know, for uh Mickey Van Der Ven, may may he rest in peace. May he rest in peace. <laughs> God rest his soul. <laughs> yeah, <fuck it. laughs> 
<laughs> yo, yo, that slip was something else, man. <laughs> the picture when he was shitting on him in the background on his head. <laughs> yo, yo, shout out, shout out to Mickey for the meme, yo. <laughs> hey, listen, I, I rate Mickey Van de Ven, but oh my days, he got caught with his he got caught with his dick in his hand. <laughs> yo, I can't lie. That was crazy. That was crazy. Hey. Hey, shout out to Isak. Great goal. Great, great first goal. Shout out to um Newcastle. I, I can't lie. They they played, they played, they played Tottenham off the park yesterday. They they played them off the park. I, I don't, I don't, or the day before, my bad. I, I'm giving the days mixed up. But yeah, that, that was that was a that was a very good game. I did not expect to see that. I, I thought um I can't lie, I thought it was gonna be a draw. Um I didn't expect Newcastle was going to pound like that. Even if they did, even if they were to win, I thought it would be a much closer game. I did not expect this whatsoever. Um, just goes to show you that the hot line could be got it. It could definitely be got it, you know, um, especially when you have the right personnel and they make the right decisions and you set your team properly in a way that's, a, you know, that can counteract that, that type of system. Unlike a certain, manager uh on the other side of north london you know what i'm saying but uh that's neither here nor there um yeah isak gordon great goals great goals um fabian share shout out to him the uh, the header to kill it off I, I i mean i just don't know what to say about spurs other than um that that was a that was a shocking performance i i, I honestly from watching y'all this season I expected a lot more than what I saw. Like it, it was, it was, it was bad. It was bad. But you know, you're gonna experience that sort of growing pain in the first season. So I'm not, I'm not gonna hold that against y'all too much. Cause at the end of the day, honestly, um, Ange has gotten a lot more out of this team than he was than he was supposed to. So, you know, shout out to Ange for you know getting you know having y'all playing this this brilliant football. But at the same time, I wish he would learn to adjust. A little bit to certain situations you know um but I, I i have no i have no idea why he hasn't adjusted like i i know why because he's sticking to his guns but at the same time you got to understand this is a completely different league this is one of the hardest leagues in the world for a reason like you should be able to adapt your you you know your style of play especially when you're when you're down but you know I mean, I, I rate the fact that he sticks to his guns, you know, just like I rate Deserby for sticking to his guns, you know, even when they down and even when they backs against the wall. So I can't I can't fault them for that. But at the same time, you know, got to adjust a little bit, in my opinion. But, you know, once again, shout out to uh, Eddie Howe in Newcastle. They 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 played they played uh, Tottenham brilliantly. They came in with the with the perfect game plan to counteract everything that they wanted to do. And they 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 um they executed it well. You know, Tottenham, I feel like they had a they had a few opportunities, but it, it just fell to the wrong people, you know, especially uh Timo Werner, bro. <laughs> like what this guy at week in and week out, he just continues to amaze me about how terrible he is as a footballer. Same thing with Brendan Johnson, like this guy, bro. I I, I don't <clears throat> I, I say this week in and week out, every mud brother show, y'all got the wrong forest player. <laughs> y'all grabbed the wrong forest player. Y'all y'all should have got Morgan's Gib White, you know what I'm saying? Morgan Gibbs White, that that's the player y'all should have got from Forrest. But you know, it is what it is. We move on. Um, hopefully this continues, you know. Long may continue. There's, there's growing Long pimps. may continue. What's that? There's you think there's they... growing pimps. Yeah, man. Yeah. I, that's the only club that can get away with saying growing pimps after getting battered 4-0. But yeah. We'll, hey, we'll to be it. fair, first season, first season, you know. We're gonna expect growing pains. Not not everybody's uh, uh not everybody hits the ground running like uh Zabi Zabi Alonzo. Like not Four everybody's gonna hit the ground running like that. No no no. I know I know that I know that. But I'm saying like not every manager is just gonna you know win a a freaking league <laughs> undefeated. You know what I'm saying not it, that that's just that's unprecedented. You know so you gotta expect growing pains first season. You know not everybody's gonna end up like a Zabi. Javi uh winning 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 the uh, La Liga first season. I mean that's again that's that's unprecedented. That that's not something that happens very often. And it's not like Spurs are playing terrible football. They're playing great football. It's just that if you think about the chances that they had against Newcastle, they could have been up before Newcastle scored their first goal. 
they could have they could have been up by two easily. They just they just missed their chances. So it's not it's not that they're playing horribly. You know what I'm saying? But you know it's just adjustments need to be made. Growing pains. You know, first season, all that good stuff. Now we can have different conversations next year if the same issues persist. But this is just the first season. So I mean, I can't really be too upset with you know how they're playing. Like I, I it, like I said at the end of the day, I enjoy good football. You know, so I enjoy good football over anything. So if I see something that's pleasing on the eye, please, I, I want to see more of it. Like that, that's at the end of the day, I love the sport of football before I love my club. You know what I'm saying? I, I love seeing good football, even if it's against my club. That's just me. I just, I just love to, I just love to see it, you know, cause I can't go out there and do that. So I want to see other people do that. You know, that, that's just me though. That's just me yeah. though. But, uh, Long man, continue. I hope y'all stay in the mud. I hope man, I hope man United stay in the mud. I hope Chelsea stay in the mud. You know, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully, know. um, hopefully Arsenal can one day pull their head out of their ass and and go do something. You know, go 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 on the transfer market, go big, and then maybe we'll win some. Get rid of this manager. But that's neither here nor there. This is a Tottenham segment. Big up, Ange. Think, big up. Do you think they finished top up, four? Um, you, uh, Tottenham. Do you think they finished top four? Um. I, I still, I'm still sticking to uh, Tottenham top four. I mean, this is the I think this is the hardest of the their remaining fixtures, and I and I said this uh, in the previous Mud Brothers. I think this was uh, probably their their bogey game, and it and it turned out to be true. So I knew I knew they were going to drop points somewhere, and this was where they dropped you know some of their points. Yeah. And I still think Aston Villa has a chance to drop some points as well. So you know, I think at the end of the day, I think uh, Spurs just pull it out because I think they have. They have better players than Aston Villa have at the moment, especially um, due to Aston Villa's injuries and stuff like that. So we shall yeah. see. It's, it's gonna it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a good little battle for uh, for that last Champions League spot. It's it's gonna be good, good and close because Newcastle are also breathing down the neck as well. So it's like it's 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 heating up. It's heating up. I love to see it. You know what I'm saying? Even though top four race ain't a, ain't really a thing, I just love to I just love to see it because it feels like. Um, it almost feels like a, a race to the playoffs sort of sort of feel, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like uh like if you Hey, I'm just saying, I'm just saying it, it just feels like it just feels like a playoff race. You know, like at me as an American, it's it's, it's like mm-hmm. I I I, I kind of look at the I look at the comparisons with uh, uh with American sports and it, it feels mm-hmm. like a playoff race, you know what I'm saying? You you're trying to make it to the playoffs sort of thing. You know, okay. that that's that's how that's how it feels and that's how the teams treat it mm-hmm. now. They yeah. didn't back in the day, but it, yeah. that's how it feels like now because yeah. Sky Sports have peddled it out, you know, as a top four. It's a it's a race to top four. You know, yeah. I don't believe I don't think that, but you know, it it just adds extra jeopardy for these teams because they're they're now being told to fight for these positions if they want more money, if they want, you know, higher salary increase and you know, if they want yeah. better players, you know, managers and stuff like that. So that that's just how it's peddled out now. Yeah. You know, that that's just that's what I'm going with, you know. But yeah. at the end of the day, you know. Shout out to uh, Eddie Howe in Newcastle doing the job against Tottenham. Shout out to Ange for sticking to his guns, even though it uh, it cost him four <laughs> four goals. Um, Basuma, my broski, I'm gonna need you to step up one of these days, man. You my baller, bro. I, lo- I love you, but you had a stinker. He dropped off a stinker. Grizzly, didn't he? Oh, you had a stinker, yeah, I read bro. This one too, you know, Absolute I stinker, bro. Like, I, I rate you highly, start. but yeah. you need to get your head out of your ass, bro. I don't know what's going on with you. I don't know what's going yeah. on with you this last half of the season. Like, I, I agree. it's crazy. It's crazy. Definitely. Spoops, yeah, what about you? Good. You think uh, they finish top four? Hmm. Big up to Stephanie G as well, by the way. Yeah. While you do things. I will stuff. go. Yeah, I go Spurs top four, yeah. It's Spurs been them and Villa. Yeah, cool. but Spurs, yeah. Definitely. Cool. All right. Well, that's pretty much it in terms of all the teams. That's the segments right there. We do still have one thing left, though. Um, we have not forgotten, you know, the Mud Brother of the Week. Um, to be honest, I haven't decided who it is yet. We haven't so yet, actually. Yeah. We haven't. We actually haven't. So we're going to leave it up to the four of us <laughs> to decide who is who it's going to be. I'm pretty, pretty sure it's between the two North London clubs. We got Spurs and we got we got uh, Arsenal. In terms of what you guys want to do, that's totally up to you guys. But, Spoots, we'll start off with you. 
who do you think should be the Mad Brother of the Week? Um, the 4 0 is a bad result, but in the grand scheme of things, uh, I'm sorry, Eli, it has to be the Arsenal. It's it's the, the title race, the title challenge. This is your chance to show your chest. We're not just here. We're not just, you know, we're not just here to take part. As I said earlier, we're here to fucking win the thing and then they just capitulate it. Um, it has to be Arsenal for me. And De Niro? Sure, you're gonna go with Arsenal. No, but you know it's funny. I'm actually a fair guy. You know, I would have gone with Tottenham, but it's for the fact that you got guys like um, Mr. Artillery in your family. <laughs> so, so for that case, for that case, bro, I can't like. I have to go with Arsenal because it's a title. Like we are, we're not winning nothing in it. So I just feel like that's a ball. We can bounce back next week and it won't matter. You bounce back next week, you're back in maybe. Now nah, you're not back in now, but yeah, man, yeah, Arsenal, man. Just for the artillery, you get me. You what? You already know what I'm saying. Spurs. Nope. No. <laughs> nope. You should have known that. You know. You know how I feel about my club. Yeah. You yeah, know when yeah, they don't yeah. deliver, I'm just crashing you harder than anybody. I didn't think you'd pick yourself. Dude. That's why it's so hard to argue yeah, against Eli. Like, it's so yeah, hard to argue yeah, against you. Yeah. He's a real fan that like, he knows. I know. Yeah, I know. You know. can't run agendas all over. We, we had it all in our hands. And we just bottled it. It's us. So you, can't even, it. You, can't even, you can't even put the kill lead in front of him because he'll just slap it at your hand. You won't even <laughs> try and taste it. He'll just fucking slap it away. Yeah. I don't know. This guy's <laughs> But yeah, um, crazy man! What a week! What an absolute week! Mm. Yesterday was an amazing day for neutral fans, for fans like us, you know, Spoobs, and De Niro. Amazing oh. day! Amazing. Honorary, honorary mention also to Liverpool Football Club. You oh, Liverpool fan thought. was here. Bums. Yeah, I, Bums. I just want to say, yeah, yeah. Uh, honorary, um, quick little mention to Liverpool Football Club. You absolute frauds! Fans like Ryan flip flopping, flip flopping every single week, talking about how. We're going to win the league. Arsenal's going to win the league. This team's going to win the league. Oh, we won it. This and that. Oh. Yo. Nah, that's crazy. Nasty, bro. Yeah, you don't got to take that. floating in that thing, bro. <laughs> <laughs> this is, uh, this is uh, Apple Pie Moonshine. <laughs> okay. But yeah. Whenever, whenever you are ready, my friend. Mr. This week, my brother of the week is Arsenal. Arsenal it is. Yo, yeah, yo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's enough. That's enough. Fuck. First, first. And Mr. 16 out of 10, make sure you hold that, bro. Hold that. Yeah? Your team yeah. was scrapped out by my baller Eze, by the way. Hold that. <clears throat> bro. Shout out to, shout yo, out to Eli. I keep saying, I keep saying, Eze is a baller. Bring that brother to the carpet. Word. Bring him to the carpet. Shout out Elise to you as well. Shout out. Oh Elise. yeah, Elise was balling too, bro. They bro, they were balling. Elise is coming in United. Don't worry, he's coming in United. That was don't sick. Me. Hey, hey, and I want to give an honorable, honorable shout out, honorable uh, two to two two players at Crystal Palace in particular. Two players, Yoki Manderson. How many mm. times have I told y'all about this guy? He's How many times have I told y'all about this guy? Uh. Like the past three years. This guy has been imperious defensively, and it's it, it is no, absolutely isn't. criminal. Yeah, yeah absolutely that's... criminal that people are not looking at him because not only does he have a great pass, he has it's a great eye for a ball. pass. Yeah, he, he's really good on the ball, and he's very good in the air. Shout out to him. Shout out to him. Also, shout out to Tyreek Mitchell, one of the most underrated left backs in the Premier League right now. Shout out to Tyreek Mitchell, mm -hmm. uh, who I also thought was man of the match, by the way. Because not only did he provide the assist for uh, for uh, for Eze, he also blocked <clears throat> Salah twice. Yeah, twice off the line, twice. Yeah. Those those were those were those could have been the difference between Liverpool either drawing or winning or losing, which they did. So shout out to Tyreek Tyreek Mitchell, my honorary. Uh, that's my man of the match for uh, Crystal Palace. That's why Sheik for the, the, back in the league. next season, Sheik can spout the back signal for a Liverpool fan for sure. Listen, like, listen, I'm going to give you guys some, some news. I tried to get a Liverpool fan today. I try, I hit up Hossam to see if he would be down, but he was he was busy. So he, could, he couldn't join today. Otherwise, Hossam would, would have been on the panel. And oh, man, how you, good you said it here, your palace keeper was okay too. Sorry, couldn't resist. 
trust me, I'm not moving past this segment. I know we're done with the Dean show. Dean Henderson. Three hours. I'm not moving past this segment because I was waiting for this, right? The downfall of Liverpool Football Club in their final season. Oh, hey, do it for hey. Klopp. Oh, it means do so it much. Klopp. It means more. <laughs> do it for <laughs> Klopp. <laughs> You know, all that type of shit. Listen, I'm not Do done with that. Club, lad. I still have a lot to say, right? Klopp, Jurgen, Norbert. You know, people want to say, my fucking manager. There's clips out there. That right? one, Nunez. Thing, shit like that, right? You know, final Inshallah, season. Inshallah, do it for Klopp. For real, man. <laughs> We're we going to give, yeah, we are going to give Klopp his farewell for sure, 100%. But Jurgen Klopp, all this, this great manager that he is. All of a sudden, in his final season, in his final European game at Anfield, loses 3-0 at home to Atalanta, bro. Atalanta, bro. Georgia. This is what we're talking bro. about. Dropping four points to, to, to United. This shit, United team. You men couldn't beat us. You men couldn't beat us. Man. Crazy. Can I say something? Hey, they dropped four, they drop four points to eight. us as well. Yeah, man, get get that bus ready. Get that parade ready. Because I know they're going to... You know what the Scousers are going to do? They're going to say, oh, it's a farewell club tour. But you know that Caribou Cup's going to be held up there. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah no, let, me hold it. let me hold it. Let me hold it. Let me hold it. Remember when they told us it was just an energy drink cup? A 7-Up cup? Remember when they trolled us for all that shit, Spoofs? Look at it. Look at it now. In yeah, the like, season, the final season, the club farewell tour... You know, the, the the shit that they do for, like, Taylor Swift, the farewell tour. Beyonce goes on, like, a farewell tour. They're doing that shit for Klopp this year. But all he's won is a little Mickey Mouse care about Cub that we got slated for when we won it last year. Crazy. Hey, oh. it is. It Don't is. let him leave with a terrible Cup. Liverpool yeah, fans, hey, do not hey, let but him people, leave. Hey, but people still want to people still want to not sell their ticket for 25k. They still want to go to this final home game. Hey, listen, oh, listen. So it is what it is, man. It is what it is. Even if my team was in the Champions League final, 25k is life changing. Give me, run me that 25k. Run me that 25k. Because imagine the things that I could do with that 25k. I can watch the game on TV and be just fine. For real. And be just fine. I still have 25k. Still yeah. have 25k in my back pocket. Yeah. Run me that 25k every day of the week. I'm about that money. Come on Mr. now. 16 out of 10. <laughs> 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 oh man. Bro, you, 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 brother. You, brother. You, you, you really interest me, brother. You've been wearing an Arsenal shirt when everything goes wrong. Then you wear a Liverpool shirt when everything's going right. And I just want you to guaranteed hold that because now both of those teams are done. So at the end of the day, brother, go adjust your team. Yeah, go think about what you have done this season. Go think about how you was. You said to two girls, you look sixteen out of ten, brother. Hey, she please tell me you got that clip, fam. You have to please play that, bro. You got to run um, that. Bro. I don't have it, but I will look for it. No worries. I, don't, I just have to pull it. <laughs> when pull it when flawless releases sixteen out of ten. Everybody needs to go crazy on Twitter. I want Jurgen hey. to see that. Hey, listen, I want listen. To see that. That's hey, De Niro, De Niro, De Niro. The merch is out, people. Him, the merch is out. The it the should be out. City. <laughs> the Sarcasm City group chat and Instagram. He was he was congrat uh, congratulating Arsenal with the league. He was like, oh, congratulations, Arsenal. Yeah, sorry, You've bro. won the league. Bro. And then they fucking went and lost. It's the Ryan curse, I'm telling you. It's the fucking bro. curse. Bro, we need to make sure that Jurgen, that Ryan is Jurgen Klopp's farewell, bro. <laughs> that is, I'm telling you, uh, I, I hold that, bro. Yeah, come on, there we go. Wait, 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 wait. The two girls below us are looking 16 out of 10 today, both of them. <laughs> Look at this joke. All right, all right big up the panel. That's all. That's what. <laughs> Hey, hey, can I just say something as well? Hey, Flawless is a bad guy. You know? <laughs> he didn't say anything. He didn't try to rescue him at all. He didn't try to rescue him. He didn't say nothing. He didn't even help him. <laughs> let it hang. He let it hang. <laughs> oh, God. Hey, no, but yeah, man, Ryan, hold that. Um, to all you Liverpool bandits out there, hold that. Like, you get me? I don't give a toss because I, 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 you lot almost made me bug out, bro. Because when Liverpool lost, yeah, I was like, bro. Hey, Arsenal might do this, you know. But, <laughs> you know, Arsenal once again being Arsenal, you get me. 
saved me from my sores. Liverpool are depended on you and you messed me. So buzz like you, you, bruv. You supposed so like you, 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 you flipping fraud. You're so hey, hey, suppose so oh, bro. Somebody, I just started saying he was like an amazing, but he's running me a Bruno now. Just oh, the way he, he played, genuinely he played. Even, bro, I'm not even gonna lie, this is a mad statement. I'm gonna make, bro. bro he might even be worse, man. I'll be real, bro. He might even be worse. Let's so hear it. Let's hear it. Let's hear his mad statement. Let's hear it, bro. <laughs> He might even be worse, bro. Like, as in, there's actually nothing to his game. I thought shooting was in his game. He can't shoot. He ain't got no passing attributes. Like, even just a simple pass, he can't do five yards. So, bro, like, he might be worse, bro, because at least Bruno, Bruno can at least shoot. You get me? That's one thing we can't deny. He knows how to shoot. And if it's like you give Bruno the space to actually be able to play a ball, as in, like, a long ball, with space and there's space in behind, he will make that pass. So Bosley, I seen Liverpool in what was it like a, I remember it was like a 5v1 or 4v1 or something. I don't remember what game it was. He only had to make like a two-yard pass and like, Fucked and up. he messed it up. Yeah. Like, this guy stinks, bro. Like, I don't know how he bought his way there, but bro, yeah, man, I can't lie. He might be worse than Bruno. Maybe I'm saying I'm, I'm overdoing it, but bro, I can't lie. He might be worse. I'll be honest with you. You, you know what's crazy as well, Sheikh, just before uh, about Liverpool? Remember when Klopp announced his, uh, he was going to leave in January? And people were like, oh, it's going to galvanise the players, it's going to galvanise the support. Um, and then other people were saying, like, you know, that might not be a good thing. In hindsight now, it's not looking like a good thing. It looked like putting unnecessary pressure on the players. Um, you have people, um, like, capitulating on the pitch. Cap- Salah didn't have a good game. But Sal's got money in the bank, we all know that. But then Nunes, Diaz, Sabozai, Endo, Liverpool fans were ribbing Endo. 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 Because he had a couple of good games. They're like, oh, Endo's fucking amazing. He's great. It's like, oh, he's so average. It's unreal. And and, and even like, okay, Connor Bradley, listen, he's my fellow countryman. I, I'm not going to talk too bad on him. But to to insinuate that Trent wouldn't get back in the team because Connor Bradley's playing so well, that y- your head has to be gone. There, there's complete levels in, in them too. And just Liverpool fans, and I, I would love a Liverpool fan to be here so I can grill him, but there's not. Um, but yeah, hold that. Hold that. You can't find them, lad. Hey, oh, whoa, you can whoa. find them. Just hide away. Get Tom Little on. Trent, <laughs> mate. Trent, mate. When he's not playing a game, yeah, we can we can definitely try to get Tom Little um, on on the show for sure. But that's pretty much it, people, uh, for episode eleven of the Mud Brother Show. We've been live for about three hours. Hashtag do it for Klopp, lad. Do it for Klopp. Do it for, do it for Klopp. This means more. All that dumb shit that these guys were spewing on season, bro. Hold that Liverpool Football Club for real. But before we do end out, obviously, um, link to the Mandem channels are in the description. Um, and yeah, man, you guys have any final few words before we do close out? I will play the clip that I did play in the beginning of the show one more time. Um, but before we do that, Spoobs, anything you got coming up, bro? Anything? Anything else? Uh, yeah, just subscribe if you're watching. You haven't subscribed to Chic TV. Subscribe. Uh, same as Eli's Twitch. And De Niro's got a YouTube channel and he's got a video coming out. And you're saying it's Eden. De Niro is fucking hilarious. Yeah. Go and subscribe to him. He's a legend. Um, and yeah. Um, if you have time, subscribe to me as well. We're doing a Arsenal watch along against Bayern Munich with my mate who's an Arsenal fan, so that'll be fun. Um, and it's part of MC in the chat right now. Um, but yeah, like and subscribe to the Chic TV video, boys. Come on, appreciate you, Eli. It means more, la. it means more. <laughs> Dope <a> club, la. <laughs> Darren Nunez, yeah, we're gonna win the league, lah. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Shout out to my to my fellow panelists. Shout out to the chat. You know what I'm saying? Um, as for what we got coming up uh, tomorrow, we're gonna be uh doing the play in over at uh Starkism City TV Playback. Yep. We're gonna be doing that. Oh yeah, that's um, my team. 
Park, you know. Oh yeah, yeah, park, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's go time. It's go time. It's go time, Sheik. You just remind me of that. Time, she... <laughs> hey, me hey. Of that uh, but outside of that, um, in terms of what I got coming up, outside of that, I think tonight I may be uh, streaming some more Rise of Ronin. I uh, need to need to hop back on that, get a little further in that. Uh, hey, make sure y'all uh, check out M. De Niro's. M. De Niro's. You need to check out his Instagram. Yeah. Check out his freestyle. Yo, that freestyle was a bumping, bro. That freestyle bro, bro. was a bumping. Check Legend. it out, Legend. people. Check it out. This boy, this boy, M. De Niro's talented, talented bro. comedian and a rapper. Let's go. Let's get it. What yeah, man, people. Check it out, definitely. Everyone's links. I'm going to post them. Everyone's links are in the description already, or if not, I will be posting them. So de definitely check it out, man. Definitely. And De Niro? Yeah, you, big, up, big up my panelists. Get me dropped into Speedy's live. Love day and that with what? It was Pad that was oh, with you. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah well, it was Pad that was with you. Yeah, you, man, are funny, man. Now, big up Pad as well, bro. Yeah, man, dropped in there as well. And big up Eli as well. I managed to drop into the to the Twitch as well. Make sure you drop in there, bro. Can't lie, like, I'm not even like a mad gamer, but yeah, I'm man, watching man. Like, the Rise of Ruin and looks good. I might even have to grab that myself, man. But yeah, man, nah, nah definitely, man, drop into all of that. And then you know already, Sheet TV. Get me best channel right now with sarcasm TV alongside too. So, bro, you get me. These are the T, the T channels of Spooby's thing as well. Yeah, so, bro. bro, these are in fact these are the free channels, the free channels, bro, that you should be dropping into. And then, yeah, man, me, I got a video coming. I just finished an editing it. I've been lazy in it, so I just need to make sure I finish editing that once it's done. Then, bro, literally, bro, from there, we'll be live to go. And then, yeah, man, like, literally just got a couple of ideas. I'm even trying to pattern something with Eli as well, so. Nice. Yeah, yeah, the fraudulence between you two. I always pick up. I, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> the real quick is right on top. <laughs> this guy. I always pick up to Sheik for even giving us the platform. Hey man, of course. Any anytime, yeah. man. You already know how it is. Yeah, man. Appreciate everyone. I can't forget. I can't close out the show without doing predictions. We have predictions to do, so we're gonna do that real quick before we do close it out. So we do have Champions League this week. We're back at it again. Second leg. Let's see who we got on Tuesday. I'm pretty sure it's the other two teams playing on Tuesday. Barca PSG Tuesday. Yeah, Barca PSG Tuesday. So we'll start off with you, Swoops. Barca PSG. They surprised me in that first Barca did in that first leg. They surprised me. Uh Stephanie G pick up two every single time. I'm gonna go two one Barca. Two one Barca, so Barca to go through. Fair enough. Yep. Um I'm gonna go with um, I don't know, man. I'm gonna go for two nil PSG. Fuck it. And Bappe. Starboy. That's a Starboy right there. But anyways. Uh, Eli? Hey, listen, I just want to say to all you Mbappe stands, hold that. That dude is nothing but a kick-and-run merchant that can sometimes get a goal. Outside of that, that dude, too many times I've seen him pull out stinkers. Stinkers after stinkers after stinkers. The only thing he can – the only time I see him turn up is at international stage when he has world-class ballers next to him, a.k.a. Antoine Griezmann, Kamavinga, et cetera. Too many times that I've watched, I've tuned in to PSG, and he's been utter shit when it when it matters most. You know what I'm saying? He goes to Champions League again, yet again, yet again. This man had Messi next to him. He had Neymar next to him, and could get it, couldn't get it done. Couldn't get it done. What makes you think he can do it by himself next to a dead and them uh Mbele, Dembele, and uh next to a dead Colomani, next to a dead freaking Barcola, whatever that you say is. He's trash, trash. The only, the only, the only good baller that they have in that team, PSG, is Kang and Lee. I like that guy. He's a baller. He's a good player. He's a baller still. Um, and I think, I think, unfortunately, although I don't like Barca like that, I think they have the better quality. You know, Lewandowski up top. Uh, Rafinha's been playing well. Uh, that boy Lamina Mal. That dude is. That dude is sick. Sixteen year old, just Crazy. putting yeah. putting people in splits, bro. Like he he's he's different sauce, bro. Uh, Barcola, I mean, not not Barcola, uh, Kubarsi, Kubarsi, that that uh, center back they got, bro. 17, a player, man, isn't he? Oh. sick, bro. 17 years old, okay, you know, they, they they pulling people out of the, out from the academy and they 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 just they just ooze and sauce, man, you know what I'm saying? So, I think uh, Barcelona they're gonna have a little bit too much for them, they're gonna yeah. uh, edge it out. I'm gonna say 2 1 Barcelona, 
from Barcelona and De Niro. Well, in Barcelona as well. Fair enough. Then we go to uh, Dortmund versus Atletico. Spoops. Uh, it's a one-one. Yeah, Atletico would draw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Atletico would through, and they'll just do a one-one, and they'll just park the fucking shit out of that fucking place. All the diving, all the time wasting, all the Simeone dark hearts. You know what's going to happen. It's going to be a one-one. Fair enough. Yep, I do think Atletico Madrid wins. Uh, I'm going to go for one nil. Atletico yeah, Madrid. Yeah, Eli. Uh, I'm gonna also say one nil. Uh, Simeone masterclass. Uh, Sancho, um, like he's gonna he's gonna ball out like he did last game. He's gonna ball out, but it's not gonna be enough. Uh, it's just, it's basically just Sancho and Marco Royce mm. against uh against all of uh, against all of Atletico's quality. I mean, you got a you got a world class Griezmann. You know, yeah. uh, Morata on his day can can score the craziest of goals. You know, uh, they still got um, what's his name, Depay, who's a baller as well. Um. What's his name? Uh, Raquel May, baller. Lino, baller. So they 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 got they got too much quality. Uh, Rodrigo De Paul, like although I hate I I can't stand him. He's a he's a shit house, bro. But he he he's he's instrumental in what they do. So I I just don't see Dortmund getting past them. Like, and I think Simeone is due, you know, to make it to the make it to the final again. You know, hopefully win it if uh if we don't get there. So I'm I'm going for Atletico masterclass. Uh, one nil to the to the uh, Atletico Madrid. Fair enough, and De Niro. Yeah, one nil Atletico Madrid. Still, definitely still. Um, yeah, man. I don't think Dortmund have the the creativity to break that, that low block that's going to be going in with um Atletico Madrid. So yeah, man. one nil. Fair enough. Uh, then we go to the the A side of the Champions League. Definitely the the heavyweight clashes. Manchester City at home to Real Madrid. Currently tied three three. Uh, this is a tough one. I'm not gonna lie. Real Madrid have never beaten Man City at the Etihad for the amount of times that they played. But I think they do it this time. I'm gonna go for two one Real Madrid. Spoofs. Um, I would say L to UEFA. Why on earth would you put these two games on the same day? Why don't you just move yeah. uh, Dortmund Atletico, uh, switch them out? I don't get why you put them all at the same time. Um, but yeah, um, I'm going to go City 2 1. City 2 1. Eli? This one's tough because it, it de- tough. depends on the matchup. Yeah. It, it depends on the matchup. If uh, if Bellingham plays, hey, what have I been telling y'all about Bellingham? I told y'all about this, bruh. I told y'all. You did say that. You did it. This, this, yeah, this, I remember you. This guy, he he's he's not he's not it. Like his first touch, trash. You know, outside of um, outside of scoring the occasional goal, what does he do? He was a passenger in that game. He's been passenger, like he's been a passenger for ma- the majority of the season. Like once the goals dried up, what what is what does he do? What does he do? Like he, yeah. he's like if he if he starts if he starts against Man City, Real Madrid lose that game. They lose that game. But on the flip side, same thing like I was telling y'all about KDB and uh Holland men in the same team, passengers. If they both play, then they lose. So it just really depends on uh, it really depends on who plays and who doesn't play. So I'm I'm gonna err on the side of Carlo Ancelotti being the first to fold and dropping Drew Bellingham and actually playing a baller there. So I'm gonna say uh, Real Madrid win two uh, 0 or two one rather two one two one cool and Denier uh, um uh, let me oof, brother city 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 city. Free do see T one C T one C just yeah let me just put out that T one C T one C first mm-hmm. cool then we go to the last one Bayern Munich versus Arsenal at the Allianz Arena um, <laughs> <laughs> the big game right there man Spoops what you going with uh I pretend just going full time 
full time. Yeah, yeah, like score and who goes through. So full time one one. I think it'll end one one at uh, ninety minutes okay. or ninety minutes added time. Okay. Ah. Who qualifies though? Um, uh, Bayern made it to qualify. The full the score will be in the ninety minutes. Be one one, and Bayern will qualify. Okay. Through pens, through extra time, will they score a goal or? or pens. 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 Okay. Pens. Fair enough. Um, I'm actually going to go for 2 1 Arsenal. I think Arsenal bounce back. Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> yeah. I think they do. <laughs> two, two, one, two, 2 1 Arsenal for me. Eli. Mm. This is it, Eli, for the season. Game season on the line on this game. Yeah. Hey, listen. It I don't trust this manager, bro. If he plays in Chinko at left back, we lose three 0 If he if he yeah. actually does the smart thing and he plays Tomiyasu at left back, then white right back, Thomas Partey, Odegaard, and and um uh, Rice in midfield. And Havertz has dropped to the bench, and we play Trossard, Nelly, and Saka up top. Then I feel like we could win this game two 0 because we beat ourselves in the previous in the previous in the previous game. We beat ourselves like both of their chances we gifted to them. So if we if we come out with the right lineup that I just said, two 0 If he if he plays Zinchenko, and he plays Jorginho. Watch us lose two or three now. Watch. Uh, Mark my words. Um, I just want to rebuttal what Eli just said. Um, Arsenal are going to go to the Allianz Arena. I'm even being nice here. You're going to lose two, you know, innit? Yeah, that's that's me even just being nice. But what I will say is this, innit, yeah, is that Arsenal have this funny thing of when they get into these type of crazy stadiums, they can't handle the pressure, brother. And I've seen it numerous times. And mm. this is going to be another one of those times because mm. my brother Harry Kane, you get me, he's going to show you. I even said it the first time. I said Harry Kane already, and he's already done a little bit of a job. If they could have just held their little, their, their, their self at the Emirates, which they were, they were bopping you lot, bro. Like people that are trying to downplay the way Bayern actually got that up. is true, you know, isn't it? Because yeah, we've man. never seen Arsenal get at, get got at no. like that way. They were That's counter cool. on them. They were yeah, man. Bro, we you were getting yeah. moved to Bayern were comfortable yeah. in that game, bro. They just made and a you. You want to know why that is? You know, you know why that is. Jorginho oh, against yeah. that midfield. It's true. Kivior against Sane. Why? 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 When you have Tommy Asu, who's put, who's put Salah in his prime, in his pocket, why is he not starting the game against you know Leroy what? Sane, speedster? I agree, with you. I agree with you, but you know, it's I, I just think, you know, even put Tommy Asu in this game, bro, it will be nullified. Um, I think Bayern will go there. They they will slap you. I I very much believe that. If they don't, if they don't, then they don't in it. But I believe they will, because Arsenal, bro, I've seen you lot, bro. You lot went to Lisbon and crumbled, bro. You lot let Lisbon, man, that these guys from Lisbon come back. And people say, oh, it's the Europa League, bro. I've seen Arsenal crumble. It's near the script by Porto. Yeah, bro, this is yeah. what I'm saying, bro. Let me, let me, let me just, let me just how say I, this. Hmm? I, I 100% agree with you, Emanero. I'm just trying to back my team in it. hundred percent. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just trying to back my team. I'm not I'm, talking I'm hope, to you. Like I, I know, I know that we have the capabilities of doing this. It's just our manager ain't it, and he's setting like, us up to fail every single time. Yeah. So I'm not yeah. even talking. You know. I'm not even directing this at you. I'm directing it to once again. <laughs> I'll do what I get at it, but Mr. Artillery again. Reach for the <laughs> stars. Mr. Artillery. Can I say his name or you don't know, say his name? <laughs> 
Oh, listen, nah, he's my, no, you know, he's actually one of my favorite Arsenal fans, I swear to you. Yeah, no, he's definitely, <laughs> hey, yo, I've never been more excited to tune into that Thursday show, bro. Oh, I'm, he's I'm, funny, bro, he's so I'm funny. So funny. Why, why don't we get him, she can get him on here as well. We will, we will. We will. We will. Bro, yeah. I mean, I really who knows, he might be here next Monday. Hey, just a sneak yeah, peek, who knows, yeah. he might be here next Monday. We will see. Yeah, I, really we will but I just think when you get to these places, you, you crumble, innit? When you've got these crazy Bayern Munich fans mm. who are jumping on the cage, Cages, rattle in the cages and that. Hey, we need to, we need to change that, change that history. Change the history, Arsenal. Do it for the culture. Do it for, do hey, it for your fans, man. Listen, listen, Ganabri, my boy. You know what time it is, man. Show hey, Arsenal. Hey, Ganabri's why hurt. Hold that yeah. Ganabri. You hurt. Show, show them why they just. I don't wish them. injury on anybody, but hey, you got to hold that. Last thing, because I know we need to cut, but last thing. Yeah. Let me bring the camera a bit closer, bro. A bit closer, bro. Look. Look, 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 Arsenal fans, bro. If you oh, don't, message, message, bro, 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 listen, Arsenal fans. If you don't win on Wednesday, bro, I promise you, bro, I promise you, I promise you, I'm gonna finish every single one of you, bro. So please, just get that W, bro. I'm even hoping for you, and I'm your rival fan. Make sure you get that W, cause I'm around. Look at my eyes, bro. <laughs> My eyes are tearing, bro, because I even feel sorry for you if you don't win that game. Arsenal fans, get that W. Trust me. Get that flipping W. Damn. Hey, you have to respect that here, though. You have to respect that here. You have to respect that. He said it himself, man. Better get yeah. that W. Suppose that. Yeah, but we do have a... Before we do close out, we promise we are going to close out like in the next like two, three minutes. Premier League predictions. We have Saturday games and Sunday games. Obviously, we play in the FA Cup, so we'll do FA Cup predictions as well. But the first game is Luton versus Brentford. Um, I'm going for Luton Town. Ooh, going for 2-1 Luton. Let's do that. Yeah, 2-1 Luton. Then De Niro? Um, you're going for 2-1 Luton against Brentford, yeah? Yeah, Luton at home. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's um, now, nah, Ivan Tony, man, get me quickly. 2-1 Brentford. 2-1 Brentford first. Eli? Desmond. Fair enough. Spoops? I'm going to do 1 1, but also, Daniel, look, Pat MC is going to be in my watch long. He's talking shit. He's an Arsenal fan, aren't I? So, yeah. you know what the, where, where to go. My brother, you're my new brother, bro. Send his location. <laughs> he sent his location. He said, hey, send me a location. Send me a location. He sent it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Next game, Sheffield United at home to Burnley. Uh, that is such a dead game as well. Crazy. Two relegation sides. Um, going for 1 1. Fuck it. Could care less. And De Niro? Yeah, I'm going to go with the same as always, well bro. Same thing. Eli? 2 0 Burnley. Spooks. 2 1 Burnley. Fair enough. Then we got Eli's two teams, the two teams that he loves in the Premier League facing oh, each shit. other at home to Wolves. We got Wolverhampton versus Arsenal on Saturday. Um, I'm going, ooh, this is, this is a tough game, you know. I'm not going to lie. Two, two, Desmond. Wolves masterclass, T1 Wolves. Fair enough. Eli? Uh, Tuna Arsenal Neto still injured. Tuna Arsenal first. Spoons? Two one Arsenal. Cool. Then we got Sunday's fixtures. Um, and then FA Cup as well. We'll do the FA Cup real quick. Chelsea versus Manchester City in the FA Cup. I'm going for two nil Manchester City. Three one Manchester City. Mm. Cole Palmer, you know. Two mm -hmm. one city. Palmer gets a he he uh he stat pads. Yep. Two one city. Two one city. Two one city. Right. Yep. Then we got United. Uh, <laughs> United playing against Coventry City in the FA Cup semi final. Mm -hmm. Um. Mm -hmm. If we lose, like I said, Ten Hag, you need to get sacked. I will rant like a great oh dude. It will be un I will be unstoppable that day if we lose for real. But um 
I'm going for 2-1 United. Come on, man. We, we can beat Coventry. Come on. At least fucking beat Coventry, bro. 2-1 United. And De Niro? <laughs> bro, Coventry, even though they lost. Um, uh, I think they just lost to Birmingham, bro. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'll be honest with you. Yeah. they actually been playing good football, you know. Like, they're not actually a bad team like, that people may think. Oh, I yeah, think they turned up. I actually yeah, they think they turned up. They'll play for the occasion. They'll play for the occasion. Wembley, oh, semi-final, FA trophy. Cup, Manchester United as well. Like, you know, against United semi-final. Oh, dude, they're turning up. I, If I was a Coventry fan, I'd be – I'm sitting here right now thinking about it just turning up. Like, yo, I'm ready. Go, yeah, sure. like, it yeah, could yeah. go two ways, bro. Like, it's like one of them ones where if you score the first goal, you could just end up just slapping them. Or yeah. you start struggling, and then they realize they can smell blood. And then I feel like you'd be able to hold out to like all extra shit. time. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I think you would hold out to like extra time. Then you probably score like a, a, a jammy goal in extra time. And it? Yeah, but I still think United win though. So I'll say one or United. Fair enough. Um, Eli? <laughs> 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 this guy, this guy. Okay. Go on. Two one Coventry. Yes. <laughs> uh, again, it's gonna be a draw, ninetieth minute, and you know it beat them an extra time. Yeah. Spoob, should Garnacho start this game after all their shit has happened? I don't give a shit. <laughs> uh Diallo. I start Diallo. Your okay. boy! Back your boy moves! Back just... your boy moves! I just thought I'd ask. I thought that got that show was your boy Spoobs. You're not backing him? No. Back your I, I just thought I'd ask. Why, after why all is he a my, okay? Can I address this drop? Why is he my guy? I don't well, understand that. Can I just address this with a quote that we yeah. have in, in London? Yeah. There's a guy that made a famous quote in London and he said, Question. If gang pull up, are you gonna back your brethren? Back your boy, bro. Make sure you back our natural. That's your boy, bro. Fair enough. Well, you know, yeah, yeah, we you, you back your boy Warner. Anyway, but hey, what I'm saying is, is <laughs> <laughs> no. But what I'm saying, yes, I would start Garnacho. Yeah, against Coventry. Fucking no. Yeah, I would. Hey, if yeah. you ask me, I wouldn't start Garnacho any fucking game, bro. Oh, that's just stop, me, bro. She, that's Come just on, me, bro. That's just me. That's just Come me, on. man. That's just me. See, this is why he's it's your not boss, that bad. It's this not that bad. This is why he's your boss. See, this is why I kind of like De Niro because he kind of understands where I come from and uh, and the uh, Garnacho kind of thing. Yeah, sometimes I do still, but sometimes she say something. <laughs> there you go. Nah, get shut. Up. Hey, 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 listen, 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 listen. All I'm gonna is, all I'm gonna say is, hey, <laughs> what was that, De Niro? About backing your boy? How about you back me? How about that? Come yeah, on. No, I got you. I bro. Would, you look, look, <laughs> this is my team. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm still standing on this fact. I would not play Garnacho every single week. I would play Hoyland through the middle. I would play Ahmad on the right. I would actually play Rashford on the left over Garnacho. I would switch uh, Ahmad hey, more than Garnacho. I actually, think Rashford actually, 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 Sheik, I think you got it mixed up. Play Hoyland on the right. Play Ahmad as a false nine, and you get the best out of Hoyland. Hoyland, Hoyland played winger at lot a couple times. He did, yeah. He did. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Another, Holy, another option Holy, where yeah, Garnacho did. doesn't play. So that's, that's yeah, I'm cool with that. Us. Basically. So there's two different Garnacho. possibilities. Two different free possibilities. Garnacho. Free Garnacho. But, yeah, free. Move on to the next game. Just four more games left. We move on to the next game. Uh, Everton at home to Forest. Another dead game. I'm not going to lie. But Everton bounced back from the 6 0 thrashing they took today. I'm going for 1 0 Everton. And the Nero. Oh, sorry, my bad. Um, T one, yeah, T one, um, T one Forest. T one Forest. Mm. Same. Cool. Spoops. Everton in the mud. T one Everton. T one Everton. Yeah, Everton doesn't. I don't. I don't. I don't think they have the uh, the strike force right now. Like uh, Calvin Lewin's injured yet again. Beto ain't it. You know, um, what's his name? I think they're a different team at home. At home, yeah. they're a different team. Big up Sean Dyche Arteta, man. Broski. I hope we're he, seeing uh, it. Yeah, I, hope we're really I hope Sean Dyche Arteta bounces back. Man. Yeah. <laughs> then we got Villa Villa at home to Bournemouth. Shout out Villa. Uh, we're going for 2 0 Villa. I'm going for 2 0 Villa. Um, yeah, 2 0 Villa. Oh, actually, 
actually. What are they at home? Yeah, they're at home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. T, they're actually T one Villa, T one Villa, T one Villa. First, Eli. Actually, I think this is one of those bogey games for Villa. I think yep. um, from what from what I've seen from Bournemouth the past few games, I think they they can match up pretty well against um, against Villa. So I'm I'm gonna say uh, this might be a one one. Fair enough. I'll go ahead and accept uh, two one Bournemouth. So Bournemouth, cool. Then we got Crystal Palace at home to West Ham United. I'm going for a uh, two two. Desmond. Three mm. mm. two Palace as a my flipping baller. At least a my flipping baller, bro. Yeah, bro. I know. Yeah. The manager's good as well. The new manager's quite good. He's, he's yeah. Yeah, he's decent. Yeah, yeah. he's decent still. Mm. I like him. Um, two one Palace. Two one Palace, cool. Spoops. Uh, three one West Ham. There it goes. Three one West Ham. Damn. All right. Uh, then we got the last one before we'll obviously be back for Mud Brothers on Monday. So the last Sunday fixture is Fulham versus Liverpool at home, um, at Craven Cottage. Um, <laughs> Liverpool win. <laughs> gonna be stinky though. Uh, I'm gonna say two one Liverpool. Darwin Nunes. Noodles. 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 Yeah, you know what? Liverpool nicked this one, innit? Yeah, T1. Yeah, yeah. Nick it, Noodles, lad. <laughs> um, you know what? 3 1 balloon. Man. Hold that lad. Hold that Liverpool. Three one full of me cruising. I can seven. Hey, fair enough. Fair enough. That's three one. He thinks. He thinks man fairs. Hey, Oops. Liverpool in bad form now. They can pitch around. They're shocking. They're shocking for real. They're shocking. Three one Liverpool. Three one Liverpool. Cool. All right. With that, we do close out the episode. That's it for the Premier League. Can pictures. we do the Arsenal Chelsea game before we? Before the Monday, or do you want to do it on Monday? Well, the game's on Tuesday. We'll do it on Monday. Yeah, yeah. Just on Monday. We'll yeah, do the okay. predictions for. Yeah, yeah. We'll do it on Monday. So, yeah, yeah. Cool. Chelsea. But yeah, thank you, thank you everybody for tuning in. Uh, definitely check out the Mandem's channels, like we said before. I'm gonna close you guys out with the clip that we played earlier today. So, big up to everyone. Thank you for locking in. We'll catch you guys next week. A um, lot of lot of other conversations will be have next. Will be had next week. We'll have a new month new mud brother of the week as well um on monday so tune in man tune in big up to everyone appreciate all y'all big up i walked to burger king and then i walked back home from burger king don't know where it goes but i'm the only one and i walk alone Somebody smell like shit! <laughs> wait, wait, wait! Somebody smell like shit! <laughs> you know, I was thinking though, one time uh, it would be really awesome if, like, you could slingshot me in for a win. Yeah, but, okay, but if you won, how, how am I gonna win? Yeah. Think about it. No, I was thinking about it. <laughs> I mean, it's not like you're finishing 18th. Nothing wrong with silver. Nothing wrong with silver. At all. <laughs> I'm just kidding you, man. I don't want to win. <laughs> <laughs>